no, no, no. Immediately you no. fail. I'm Immediately sorry. the first the first <laughs> roll. No, 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 it was full loading. It was full loading. It was full loading. It doesn't count. So we'll have to you see. We'll it. have to see in the playback if I failed immediately. I don't know. No swearing stream. Hello, everyone, Hello. and welcome Yo. to this very special edition of Laws Needs of New Pipe. Please... <laughs> oh, that's disinformation. Please, please consider clicking the link in our description and Here's buying Clip Studio Paint. We to endorse it to buy it a big new pipe. Big new pipe. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. A shiny. I need a big new pipe, not Clip Studio Paint, the the most powerful drawing software ever created. Clip Studio Pipe, EX. <laughs> it has yeah, audio well, scrubbing. I don't know if you know this. Per... I don't know if it you know this. It has a it has a pipe cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> for added scrubbing, for added audio scrubbing. Yeah. For added oh, uh, waiting for that. Hannah's been Hannah sure. has been fiending. For audio scrubbing and Clip Studio Paint since the day I met her. As, as uh, yeah, lot. I've I've been so so serious thoughts, not not joking. It, I really love Clip Studio Paint, and we use it to animate Satina. And I've always been saying that if if they add audio scrubbing, it will be a perfect program that will rival all other animation programs. And they finally added audio scrubbing, and I haven't downloaded the new uh, the new update yet, but I'm going to within the next couple days. Uh, while the sale is going on. By the way, there's a sale. Uh, oh, so the now it's like 60% off. Now is the time to buy Clip Studio. Now Pay. is the time but to buy it for yourself. Once you've <laughs> only after clicking the affiliate link in the description of this video of this live stream. If you click the link in the description right now of this video. Uh, it'll you take can, you to uh, go to the page and it'll take you to the home the home website and you can choose what version of Clip Studio you want to get for yourself. And then when you buy it using our link we get just just for full transparency we get a commission and we use that money to eat food and that food is turned into energy in our bodies and that energy is used to make free cartoons on youtube so you sound like you're gritting your teeth when you're saying it can be a little it can be a little gentler okay but it's made with the very program that you would be purchasing so it's it's not actually just like uh, some random thing is being, uh, yeah. In fact, yeah, you can really make your own to... Satina episodes wow. if you really wanted to. Yeah, I really yeah. wanted to do, I really wanted to promote something that I'm passionate about and that I use in my everyday life. So, Clip Studio Paint is, uh, is something that I very much, uh, promote and recommend to people. So, check it out. Anyway, uh, now that the, the... I'm not going to be drawing anything because I don't have pen pressure. It is, is it, did you try the Windows Ink thing again? Who <laughs> <laughs> has like keeps getting turned off? Oh damn! For some reason. Okay, everyone. Now that we've now that we've gotten that out the way, how about we introduce who's joining us today? It's, sure. We have so many it's, people. It's making me nervous. It's the full team of of uh, scum citizens not... of laws. Hannah, Arnold, and Shaggy. That's me. But then joining us today, we have two guests, two lovely friends of the channel, Brooke and Checkers. Introduce yourselves, please. <laughs> um, <laughs> They're real, I promise. They'll start speaking any moment. Yeah, I'm real. Uh, I'm Brooke. Thanks, oh, that was uh, great. I just hang out. Okay. <laughs> I'm, just here, I'm just here to hang out. I don't do anything. I thought you had um, a bit more. No, I mean, that's what it. else that's is all there you to need. say? What else is there to say? True. So true, yeah. bestie. So true. Uh, I'm the other one. Uh, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Man, the chat has got to be hyped now. I know, right? They're like freaking mother effing checkers in the chat. I mean, in the in the in the stream today. What are those uh, things from the Cat in the Hat? Oh, did it work? Oh, thing one. Yes. Yeah, that's yep. me. Checkers. Yeah. I just keep updating the, the my thumb. Checkers. Thing one and thing in, two. Instead of being three feet tall, I'm like I'm like a strong, uh, two feet three inches. Two feet three inches. Yeah, I'm strong two three in my hinge oh, bio, <laughs> but in reality, I'm like maybe one nine. Um, I yeah. meant to say this. 
<laughs> what? What is this? I forget. Um, fucking. I that reminded me of an amphibia thing. Checkers, Matt. Oh, Matt Checkers, you, you failed the challenge. You were getting what? booted off yeah, the you island. You no. I told you guys. You so natural. It's like it's like trying not to say the word the. Okay. I won't say the word the starting now. Okay. But I will swear. I mean, okay, I won't. Okay. No, this is no swearing. No swearing. For uh, it's so a, far gone. a really funny video that you. Can see. <laughs> oh wait, hold on. I don't mean to railroad you guys, but uh, uh, Primo Nar, there was a very important reason we invited Brooke and Matt back to the stream today, and that is because oh, yeah. on last episode of Dragon Ball Z, uh, we had a babe off. And what that is is a competition who could uh, who could draw the most babelicious queen, um, and it was randomly I can't remember through a confluence of circumstance we decided to draw in the 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 West Asian queen of hell. I think it was and, a request or something. Oh, it was a request. Yeah, so right. Donated, like, request yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, and we decided to see who could draw the the most bodacious queen, and um, for the sake of the you know, and it was it turned out to be very popular. And uh, uh, Arnold was our proud winner, but uh, uh, Hannah, Brooke, and Checkers wanted to have another shot at the championship belt, so we're oh. we're here today for a rematch. So once everyone's nice and warmed up with their doodles, we're going to be having another babe off, battle yep. of the babes. I cannot I, wait. I, I, I cannot wait. I need to talk Brooke up because she sounds like a little church mouse. I'm sorry. Oh, no, I'm, I'm it's really talking. hard. It's really hard to reach the desk when I'm only one foot nine. One foot um, nine. Yeah. Oh no, don't worry. I'll just yeah. turn you up ever That's so a big slightly. mouse. No. That I'd be scared if I saw a mouse that big. I wouldn't be scared because I'm brave, but I would certainly. I would be <laughs> on. I would be on edge. I'd be looking for possible escape routes. Escape routes. Yeah. Yeah, but I wouldn't be scared. I feel so... like you guys just just brought me in to, to be the the cool mouse diversity um our token mouse <laughs> token mouse, token mouse. <laughs> the mouse token. <laughs> yeah exactly you you pull well, that's the, 100% the MLP true. demographic i do uh, oh yeah brooke chat. worked on the show when it what? came out no, and it, did yeah, it? no you were the animation lead on like the first oh yeah months. i forgot about that i forgot about that <laughs> When you were, what, nine years old? Yeah, uh, actually, that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like working on season two of Dan Versus? Because I heard that there was a lot of changes internally. Um, it was it was really problematic. Um, that's all I'll say. They Ooh, wanted to the make Dan taller, and I said no. Are the allegations <laughs> about the excessive milk drinking among the staff true? Oh. Uh. <laughs> No comment, no comment. No comment, okay. No comment, I can't say. Those NDAs are watertight. Are they milk really tight. are? They're milk tight. <laughs> Hasbro yeah. has me on like a, on, like chained up. Like if I say anything, it's it's over for me. It's like a suicide squad bomb in your yeah. head. Yeah, I'll be nuked. You know? Yeah, on the spot. I see, I see. I apologize for jeopardizing your position. No, it's okay. I get it. it I mean, these are questions all people have, so it's the, normal. The people want to know. Yeah. But I just, I have to keep that. I have to keep the secrets. So, is uh, is today's Dave off still a Dave off, or have we picked a different subject? No, it's Dave. For the sake okay. of parody, uh, we, did something, Dave. we did something for the the guys the, the, and the lesbians last yes. week. And now we're going to do something for the, the, the straight ladies and the gaydies. No, gay men today. <laughs> So it's just it's just for the sake of parody, you know, you know, we were equal opportunity perverts here. Um, yeah. So last time the East Asian, or wait, was it? <laughs> it's funny, <Arnold. laughs> I Can't even remember. Last time she was reading a book. So now, 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 this time Dave has to be doing something. What should he be doing? Yeah. Well, yeah what should Dave be doing? Oh, first off, yeah, reading a book wasn't. <laughs> Reading a book wasn't part of the descriptor. You guys just all picked reading a book. No, as yes, it was. Was it? 
Yeah. What? Then why was Hannah's sure just was. why was Hannah's just making out? Hannah added the book in the end. It's in the yeah, background. The book, yeah. Oh, okay. She's like looking over her shoulder every every second. It wasn't intentional. I think I missed on the book stuff. I missed on the book part, so I was like, oh shit, what do I do? Um, but yeah, maybe that's a good yeah. way to get the chat involved to just ask for. Post okay, suggestions. so what is what? What should Dave? No, not a post suggestion. What should Dave be doing oh, yeah. in his sexy pick? I'll send the what's link like to the a, chat. What's a sexy a thing? Flipping coupons. Flipping <laughs> coupons. <laughs> But he, has to, oh, he has to be shirtless. Oh, Dave today. He has to be shirtless. He has to be shirtless, right? Otherwise, it's just I... a little too tight. Shirtless, <laughs> or or in the in the in the process of removing the shirt after oh, a long true. day, like a long sweaty oh day, God. in the IT mines. A lot of work. Oh my God. Hannah, do you just want to look at the chat? Because I found out a way to make the chat its own window, so you can just look at the chat without having the video there as well. You just click that. Uh no, it's okay. I have the video. I'm oh okay, so you managed to you managed to solve it's your own problems. All good. Oh, we got a sh sh shit. We got a. Uh... Ah! What'd you say? Oh, Challenge destroyed. Challenge destroyed. Shit, talking mushroom. Shit, talking mushroom. No, I said no, 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 no. I did a spy kid swear. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. Oh, over to you. Oh my god, I lost okay. at eleven. I lost at eleven minutes. God darn it. Passed into the flames. <laughs> darn it. You guys, I can't be here. I need to Okay, need goodness. To go. Guys, before bad. we before we uh we got a donation from my feet on suffering. Five dollars saying draw Ketza as warrior. We'll put that in the back pocket, but we are we are focusing on Dave today. But don't worry. That'll be the next babe off. The next That'll babe be... off will be a uh, warrior yeah. woman. Beautiful yeah. barbarian Is a Wario woman? Wario woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to my... see that. Only. You want to see a, <laughs> a Wario woman? You know what? There's pro I, I could just Google that, and I'm sure there's a million of those already. What, female Wario? Yeah, why isn't there a Wario, a Wario Peach? There is Wa Peach. There is. Wa That's not real. Yeah. 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 It's like there is concept real. art. There was like a there was like a an unreleased model of Wa Peach, which was a character that was in development but never got released. Good. And it kind of looks weird. It doesn't really look like anything. Yeah, people like took the concept and, I mean, and ran with it and made it better by like changing yeah. stuff. Look, at least it wasn't another Bowsetta. That was an awful six months on mm. the internet. You didn't like that, uh, Buddy, that one. was like a whole year. Bro, what if Steve, what if, what if Lightning Buddy, McQueen put on. on the princess crown? Ugh, kill me. What is <laughs> it? What did you say, Checkers? Oh, I said it's still going. Buzz it oh, never ended. I see, I see. I see. <laughs> oh, heavens. By the way, shit, am I supposed to call you by your handle or your, your oh, real name? Uh, it doesn't matter. They flip-flop already, so. Oh, okay. Whatever okay. just comes, whatever happens first, honestly, at this rate. <laughs> What about big man or boss? Um, hey, boss sure. man. How's it going? Yeah, hey, boss man. That's ironic, considering you guys hired me. <laughs> I didn't have anything to do with but it. But we hired you to be your own boss. Oh. Yeah. You no, know, that's how uh, you know you're you're really in a job you love. That's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> that's, like, that's like a poem. That's awesome. Yeah, that's just... Yeah. Yeah. Didn't you give me shit for that, Arnold, for calling uh! people man or something? I mean, oh yeah, shoot. okay, I failed. <laughs> I, never, I never gave I'm, you I'm I hell. never gave you bunk for that, dude. <laughs> I think hey, I, see, I Ar think Arnold gets it. This is beautiful. Yeah. You know didn't what? Didn't you give me some horse pucky for calling people boss man, dude? No. That's <laughs> whack. Didn't I give you didn't I give you grief for saying chief? Somebody did. I don't know. I don't think I say chief. Oh. Anyway. I must say chief. I'm not. That might be a shaggyism. I think you said that to me yesterday. You were like, chief. when I called you from the supermarket, you were like, sorry, chief, playing D&D. &D. And then you blocked me. <laughs> <laughs> I blocked you. Yes, I, was... <laughs> I needed to focus, dude. I needed to focus on clicking swing hammer in my D&D &D campaign. I join. I feel bad because I join. I give bad advice to my team. Everything goes wrong. And then all I can do as a low level character is swing a hammer. That does like four damage over and over again, and it's even when it hits, like I just constantly miss because my AC is garbage. First edition is a nightmare, and I don't know why people play it besides the novelty. I think just because uh, you don't, there's not one million rules, but dude, so much time is spent just calculating like, like uh, rations and how much gold each thing costs. Oh, that's and it's true. Like, it took us forty minutes to, and also people have different playing styles. 
there's me where in combat I go, oh, I, I, I unleash my spiritual hammer, I swing my spiritual hammer, and then I swing my actual hammer, end of turn. And then there's other guys who are playing like level 20 million wizards who read paragraphs of text about their spells, and then uh, do just as much damage as I did swinging a hammer. Is this using like Thaco and all that stuff? Thaco? What's that? Uh, I forget what it stands for. It's like chance to... Oh, man. Okay, maybe it's not. Thaco is an acronym for to hit armor class zero. That doesn't sound familiar to you? Nah, everything is like a macro, so I just click like I want to hit a hammer, and then the DM tells me if it hit or not, then I go, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I go, boo. Fair enough. I think people like first edition because it's like more brutal and hardcore and less, oh uh, yeah no people die all the time it's fuck it's freaking crazy yeah do you like that aspect of it uh or or because it has no story stakes and it's just like you stepped on a rusty nail you died you, you, you die of dysentery <laughs> it, it has yeah. no the funny is there was uh, just to give you like a quick run of it we were there was a wizard behind a, a wooden door. <clears throat> and we were like, hey, wizard, we need to talk to you. And he was like, I'm shitting. Go away. Uh, he was like, he's um, he's like, um, oh. I, sorry, shit. You're going he's to hell. <laughs> he's pooping. He was like, I'm pooping. Go away. So we, were like, <laughs> we were like, oh, okay. Uh, but can we just ask you some questions? And he got very upset with us. Um, and then I can't remember why, but we, we got the impression that he might be a lich. So we booby trapped the door. And then like kicked it open, and he was you sh sh spooping on the, and he got mad at us and ran out. Turns out he was way more powerful than we were anticipating, and in one attack he wiped out half our body. Oh my goodness! So the the plop wizard uh, kind of annihilated us like in one, and it li he literally just deleted half our body, and we had to go and try and figure out how to revive them. Oh my! But, uh, Did you yeah. find that to be a rewarding narrative experience? Um, I felt terrible because it was my idea to mess with him, and I got everyone killed. <laughs> I keep making suggestions like we have this little thief boy in our in our group and uh there was this weird river and I was like I think there's something at the bottom of the river um I'll tie a rope around your waist and you dive in and grab it no. you're, you're, you're little <laughs> and he did that and immediately got swept away by the current into a cave oh, wait was this a player or an NPC player oh, okay um, and nice. the rope and the rope broke immediately so <laughs> I just watched this I convinced an 11 year old boy to drown himself Oh, so himself. he straight up died. He didn't end up somewhere else. He's dead. Oh, uh, we managed to save him, but it was dire. Like there was, it was a, a bit of a, it was a close call. It was a bit of a running joke for a while that I just convinced the kid to nearly kill himself. That's pretty funny. <laughs> That's pretty funny. But anyway, not to, not, oh yeah, we, I'll, I'll drill you more on that later. <laughs> sure, yeah. feel free. I love talking D and D. Probably trust me too. Though. Oops. So, uh, what was your favorite episode to work on of My Little Pony, Brooke? Um, <laughs> probably the one where they all get infected, um... What? Like... <laughs> oh, yes, oh, the, yeah, fam the, the, the famous COVID-19 episode Yeah, they all get Pony. infected, they all get infected, <laughs> um, Twilight, um, accidentally spreads a virus, um, Pinkie Pie gets mutated, Fluttershy dies, um... <laughs> um uh -oh. Rainbow Dash has her wings amputated. Oh like, no. And then it time loops, so it, it keeps happening over and over like and a over. Finale or just like yeah, a, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That's actually all of all of season six. They just replayed the same episode and said it was a time loop. Um uh -oh. It's like a grimdark fan fiction. Yeah. Is but it was real. Where Spike got it was real. You got Riz? You got what? Riz. Oh ripped. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, he he becomes a Chad in like the last episode, and I I don't Who? I don't appreciate it. Uh, Spike. He's the dragon. Okay. He becomes he gets... Riz in Ohio. So there, uh, this is actually this is real. I mean, the other stuff is real too, but this is um. That is very so... real. I can confirm. <laughs> yeah. So in the very very last episode of the series, they like jump forward like I don't know thirty years or something, and then the dragon that was once like this pudgy little. Like, little side character is, like, he's, like, chatted up. He's, like, tall and buff and strong, but he still has his same, like, like young child voice. And it's very, um... <laughs> Ew, <laughs> really? It's, it's, yes, it's, um... 
I don't care for it. Let's just put it at that. That was that was, was it... after I had left production. Yeah, was it played in Apple Jack 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 Spike, games, so it's fine. Yeah. What Wait. was that played for laughs that he his voice was the same or did they just like do it straight faced? Like, no, yeah, he sounds the same. I think it was fully straight faced because all the other voice act actors and actresses were the same. So they just they were like, Oh, we'll just we'll just keep Spike. We'll just make it the same because he uh he is voiced by i can't remember her name but by a, a female voice actress um uh, okay. and i don't know if she could assimilate like <laughs> an older voice spike post time skip is a eunuch confirmed <laughs> <laughs> but he's ripped as hell hey that, that's the sacrifice you have to make to yeah, get it's ripped true. wait is spike eunuch. bipedal in the show yes yeah. so he oh, yeah he just stands in his visible visible abs yeah, he, oh. I don't know. He just ha he has like pecs and biceps. I don't know if he has abs, but does he like flex yeah. a lot? Is it cool? Like, no, it's not it... cool. Uh, does he what have, would like, make it trapezoid? Trap? Tra what are they called again? Trapezoidal muscles? Yeah, it's trapezoids. Yeah. Oh, it's, that's actually what it's called. Not a weird shape. That's not a weird shape. Um, no, no. Uh, trapezius. Oh. No, it's uh, I just googled him. He, he has a he has a Giga Chat chin for some reason. He does have a gig. He <laughs> has like a freaking Mister Incredible. He's definitely fucking... mewing. Yeah, yeah, mewing. <laughs> what the hell? hell? Yeah. <laughs> this sucks. I know. I hate it. I hate it so much. Ew. Can you post it? I want to see it. It's really bad. You? Brooke, I should, you I'll really messed next... up letting them put that on the show. No, that was after I left production. Oh, they were making choices. That. I didn't agree with that. I said you walked I left out of after... you walked out of production because of that. Yeah, after oh, peak, which was uh, previously mentioned, the infection arc. After that, mm -hmm. I left <laughs> because I was like, it can't get better than this. And then it and then it got worse. It got so it quite worse. literally could not get Probably better. Wait, what Monday. the hell? There's this like toy version of it. This design is kind of awesome. Wait, <laughs> no, wait. Are you lying? This you're lying, dude. What? Oh wait, yeah. Well, this is cool because. In a in a earlier episode, he like gets big because when dragons get greedy, they get larger. And like he had a cool, like large dragon design where he did look like that. Wait, he got like larger? he looks like an actual dragon, and not yeah, he like looked some... like an actual dragon. He doesn't look like some guy in like a fursuit. Some soy chat. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Arnold, he, that's he what... looks like some reptilian hybrid abomination of Jay Leno and Barney. It's uh, quite. <laughs> <unfair>. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna show the chat quick. Uh, the two different. So this is this is chat. This is uh, make it the scum house logo. Uh, what do you mean? Like just show them by replacing the scum house logo with the. Oh GMO. no, I'm just opening the. Uh, I'm just opening it in the. Oh, like over the stream. I'm uh, saying you should. Though. Oh, I should. Um, no. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm glad and we then, could and talk then this is what that. he looks like as a, as a toy, apparently. Uh, so yeah, there you go. That Spike is up as a boy, and uh, me as a as man. A boy. As a boy, man. And he says Guardians yeah. of Harmony. Yeah. You see, there you go. And you can grab his tail and make him twerk. Um, Guardians of Harmony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyway, yeah, they're sponsoring this as well. If you go in the link, you can find the Guardians of Harmony yeah. affiliate link. And you can click that mm -hmm. and we get a commission on every toy you purchase. <laughs> these, are, these are the MLP toys that we actually make Satina with. Yeah. So it's, it's just pushing some random stuff that, uh, you know, like energy drinks or something. So, you know, buy one now. This is These are the building blocks that the brilliant Satina series is created with. Precisely. We've been looking to yeah. get sponsorships and like other affiliate links. And uh, we emailed a bunch of companies that usually uh, people are fighting over the stick, like Raid Shadow Legends, G Fuel, shit like that. And yeah, they yeah. all, they Stuff all like ignored what? us. They all ignored us. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm going to say right now, Raid Shadow Legends is a uh, Bitcoin mining communist operation. <laughs> and <laughs> and G, G Fuel is just sugar. It's just sugar. It gives you an energy boost because it's just sugar. Take G Fuel it. for a free trip to the dentist. Yeah. Um, it's, it won't be free, my friend. It's poison. The trip is free. 
And, it, and, and I guess the trip is free. We found a dead guy who only ever drank G Fuel the other day, and we looked at his liver, and it crumbled into dust in my hands. Like, that stuff will kill you. Don't drink G Fuel. It sucks. That's actually, that's they use the dust for more G, G Fuel. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's the powder. how they, oh my they God. keep their costs so low. <laughs> Look, all I'm full? saying is that with, with G Fuel, you are the product. <laughs> Did we get misled by somebody pretending to be G? Yeah, oh. yeah, it was like some some oh, like really? bot. I'll no, I'll okay. tell you I'll tell you the whole story. So we we got before we never really put much creed into like oh we should get sponsored or affiliate links and stuff like that. But then we re like you know, but then there was a moment where we got an email from someone saying they represented G Fuel, and uh, it looked like a completely normal thing. But then uh, when I looked at the email, it was like gobbled nonsense text. And I was like, huh, this doesn't seem legit. And then I emailed them back and I was like, yeah, we're fine hearing you out. You know, we'll shill your poison um, if you can help us make a cartoon. And then they were like, talk to me on Telegram. And then they sent me like a weird Telegram link. And I clicked it and it was, a, it was, an, it was an Indian guy. The profile picture was an Indian guy with like a Photoshop, with his arm around a Photoshopped Emma Watson Hermione. <laughs> from the Harry Potter movie, and it, and it was like, hi, my name is Teresa, and I'm like, Teresa, you look an awful lot like Hermione from Harry Potter, and then they just stopped responding. It was this yeah, whole well, that, thing. That's probably made this a bit, yeah, a bit bashful, I guess. I get a lot of comments about how they look like Hermione, but to stop yeah yeah they he didn't want to expose his relationship to the public and like open it up to scrutiny. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! The entire time I was speaking, I was corresponding with someone who presented as a with a female name, and when I looked at the thing, the profile pic was of Hermione like hanging out with an Indian dude, and I don't no. know if it was the actual Intriguing. scammer's profile pic, and he was like, "Hey guys, check it out! I'm hanging out with Hermione," or if this person was trying to like catfish the sellers as like oh, Hermione, as Emma Watson, as Emma Watson and her cool Indian BF, um, so BFF. So I don't know what it that was. It probably about. was Emma Watson, and the Indian guy was photoshopped in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, that sounds that sounds. Stranger accurate. things have happened. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think you're onto something. Yeah, but then after that, we were like, maybe we should actually reach out for these sorts of things and get money. So kill or um, be killed. Kill or be killed. I mean, like I was watching some streamer or whatever who like. All he does is like try and sharpen pencils as fast as he can, and he was being sponsored by G Fuel, and I was like, "Whoa, God damn, what the hell, <laughs> well, man?" Who do you think gave him the energy to? Yeah, to <laughs> <sharpen his> <laughs> he, was a, he was a pencil sharpening speedrunner. Yeah, we have like, to bring some momentum of the conversation to a halt. You cursed again. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh, oh my gosh. You're taking the Lord's name in vain. You guys got to chill out with that. That's true. Sorry. I'm sorry. Be cool. I'm so you don't sorry. Don't want to go to, to heck. You know. H double. You know. Okay, now yeah. we have to get the. <laughs> you know. It's like H double you know down what? here. Yeah. Laz, you got buried under six voices. What did you say, my friend? I said, now we got to bring the chemistry back to exactly where it was before. Okay, I hold had on. To can we try again? Hannah talked over you again. Just can you <laughs> let Laz speak, please? No. Try again, Laz. Is this getting a bit? Hannah, talk. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna count down as soon. When I'm gonna <laughs> no, no, I did that on purpose. We don't know. No need to count down. No, 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 so no, is no, it no, like no. on three or three? Then go. I, I'll count from zero to three, making it a total <laughs> of four. Uh, and on Wait, three, talking, talking. Okay, zero, <laughs> one, two, zero. three. Go. Okay, so. Uh, okay. Whole idea oh. That we to the... oh no! Someone talked over me again. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, we fixed the problem. I think we fixed the lag. Yeah. Nice. Rose. Uh, anyway. Uh, what were dog. We... Oh. Yeah, dog. What's up? What's up, dog? That's sexy. Up, dog? Is uh, looking dog. 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 Shut up, dog. Dog. No, you gotta say it like an insult. Like I'm talking to you, dog. <laughs> I I'm, I'm a fan of where my dogs at. Where my dogs at. Where my dogs at. I started. I I genuinely started saying dog a lot because um, this this was like years ago, um, but I I saw this one like 
I don't I don't remember what it was, but I saw this like this like crazy Kanye tweet. Like Kanye tweeted out some 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 utter nonsense, and there was one reply that just said "dog" d a w g, nothing else. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's an Enough appropriate said. response. Dog. <laughs> dog. <laughs> I, I, I say it because of that. Have you have you ever seen or used uh the term main like a m a y a m a what's up? Well, I wouldn't say it that way. Brooks on the level. <laughs> Brooks on the level. Let's go. <laughs> May. What up, May? May. Oh, I didn't hear it. Hey, May. Yeah, no, I didn't. I was just giggling. Oh, I, I was see. Giggling like a school child who just ate a spoonful of sugar. That was funny. A spoonful of cheese fuel. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we're I think you have to say Maine was like oh my a really, God, Lies, you put like, really drawn out. Oh, I don't care. It doesn't matter. It's just going to happen with this many people in the chat. <laughs> it seems to only be happening to you, and every time it happens, I laugh. Well, everybody else is centralized uh, in the same like time zone, and then I'm off in the desert, like uh, wrangling tumbleweeds and smashing yeah. my. Yeah, you should be arm. having like like a two hour delay, honestly, right? I'm surprised yes. you're keeping up. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm still talking to the recordings of you guys from the beginning of the stream, like now. <laughs> yeah, you're just very intuitive. That's how you know. That's how you're like ascertaining what we're gonna say next. Yeah. I'm tapping to people energetically and chakratically. You know, I'm yeah. reading Shaggy and Brooks and Matt's and everybody's chakras. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ours is an ISFP's introverted sensitive sensing, feeling, and perceiving. Dude, when we when we yeah. met Lars for the first time, he fucking ran up to everyone and hugged everyone, he and he came to me to and he stuck his hand out, and I was like, "Oh, what, I don't get a hug," and he went, "You have a brown aura." <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I wish I did that. That would have been funny. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I might have to steal that. I'll use that next time. Oh my goodness! But unfortunately, that isn't true. Right. I remember oh. you both got out of the car to greet me, and I didn't want to have to pick who to hug first, so I just squished you both together. Yeah, and Arnold yes. was Arnold in true Arnold fashion was just like, "I'll I'll get to Laws eventually," and he was still sitting in the car. No, Arnold wasn't but Arnold there. Arnold wasn't there, he bro. Was he was gone. We had to go pick him up from the airport a few days later, remember? Yeah, yeah, it was oh. just you and me, Shaggy. Of course. Yeah, it was you two, and then we went to In the my Kinsale. memory, Arnold was sitting in the car. I'm thanks you, oh, thank you for reminding me. My, genuinely, I just have a false memory of us hugging you and Arnold just sitting in the car for some reason. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shaggy. Shaggy, you know me. I would never miss out an opportunity to hug my friends. No. I'm sure he appreciates yes. being included. Dude, Arnold, when Arnold hugs you, he grabs true. you and he ragdolls you like he's trying to put you out of your misery, dude. <laughs> you, you hear the half like, dee 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 dee. You hear the physics sound effects of like an you object. Like... <laughs> Arnold, Arnold is good. He's always fun to spoon with in the back of the car. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he always gives us heat for that, but I'm going to keep living my truth. Dude, love it any size. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, Lars, Lars had Lars told me that I have the perfect little like man boob to like. It's got the perfect divot for his like head to fit in when he calls in. So that was nice. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> a divot yeah, from <laughs> a divot from nine hours in the back of the car with Arnold slumped Aww. against me. Did you say man boob or did you say something else? No, I said man boob. Is that is that not? Co is that not no I wanted, to I wanted to make sure i heard that right because if i said that and you didn't say that i'd be like bro what the fuck are you on about are you saying that <laughs> Ooh, what was that that's the hot yeah. it's the spiciest word we've had today mm. oh did i say what, the uh, f word yeah you word? said a no no word oh sorry you know <laughs> what i'm not gonna apologize i choose me every time you know? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. oh. <laughs> oh no um Laws, let the brown no, no, aura no, no, thing. Don't explain it. No, no, no. I'm not gonna explain that. I'm just reminded about the brown yeah. aura thing. That came from a conversation. I, I had this a friend who was dating this hippy dippy chick, who I couldn't stand, and she went to go see some healer or something like that, and he had apparently a camera that could take a photograph of your aura. Um, <laughs> and she was, Whoa, wait, and I, I remember. Taken in one of these a what? long time. Ago. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, finish your oh, story. Oh, no. The story was Great. just, I remember she was very, very upset because the, she wanted to get, like, this photo taken of her and her aura because she her friends had it and, like, theirs looked really pretty or whatever. And she hated hers because her aura was brown. <laughs> and I remember, I remember finding that so hysterical that she paid the charlatan X amount of money to Photoshop a brown aura around her, like a fog yeah, cloud. <laughs> that's really awesome. Overlay with thirty percent opacity to paste her over the top, <laughs> pay good money for that. We should start like that. They should what? Sorry. We should start a business. There should be like a scum house patented uh, aura overlay system. You can drink G Fuel, use Clip Studio Paint, develop uh, oh, no, Arnold. and uh, oh, what Arnold do. He's putting a brown aura around the pony. Dragon Ball Z, except everybody has brown auras instead of white and yellow auras. <laughs> and, and, and holographic pink and blue like in Super. Yeah. I'm watching through it's the different screen. shades. There's like a green one in there. Uh, wait, so Elias, you were saying that you you've been sucked into this scam, or well, not directly. My my mom took me to one of these conventions in like 2008. Uh, I couldn't tell you what the convention was, but uh, like n not as in I'm omitting it for my safety. I mean, I literally don't remember what it was called, but it was some new age type thing and uh i had my uh, tarot cards read by a psychic and then uh and then uh i me and my sister or stepsister depending on who you ask uh got our auras uh our auras read and i remember my sisters got read and uh the guy was like your uh, sexual aura is really large it's really inflamed <laughs> Yeah, no, to my sister. She was like sixteen or fifteen. Uh, oh God. <laughs> she was. She's. She was. Uh, Your aura uh, has a brown discharge. Yes. Oh, no. Brown discharge surrounding your aura, and it's a bit swollen and inflamed. Uh, and yeah, I, I, I don't know. Antibiotics for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Antibiotics for your aura. I remember it being like a massive machine. Uh, like this massive hadron collider looking thing. <laughs> I, I love that it's like in retrospect. I thought it was goofy at the time, but in retrospect, it's even funnier because, you know, my memory is distorted of the events. So I just picture this massive like MRI uh, hadron collider looking thing. And then just like hidden inside all of that uh, greeble is like some dude with a little Sony Vio 2008 laptop dragon dropping the color grid over top of uh, <laughs> photos for like 40 bucks a pop that's awesome uh, so, it's a live yeah, it, it ain't much live. but it's honest work yeah, <laughs> i don't know about honest <laughs> lars i must say i love that you use the word greeble because i don't know yeah. greebles wait do you guys know what greebles are of course yeah, yeah. i I'm made gonna... it up i don't know what it is <laughs> <laughs> What's no, Greeble, like Brooke? Little, Explain no, for the No, the little purple things. The little purple things? Wait, wait, wait what, no, I, Brooke, I, you've no, 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 I thought, misunderstood. I, th I thought Greebles were, like, the little, like, bits and bobs that they add onto, like, models. Like, oh, that's, that's also I'm true. Yeah. No, that's Greebles. That's, that's, like, the, that's, like, the art Greeble. There's another thing called Greebles that are used in, like, psychology to help people, well, supposedly what? help people who have face blindness. Um, I don't what you, know bro, about what are you talking about? I made about? a PowerPoint about it. Hang on. Wait, um, Brooke, do you want to show us your PowerPoint? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is another patented Brooke PowerPoint. <laughs> wait, wait. Brooke makes Brooke wait, did makes I not an share the PowerPoint? amount of PowerPoints. Um, do I? Show us the, wait, your, your what, animation Brooke, one. I've, oh, wait, yeah. The oh, fact I forgot that I you have that. a second, second PowerPoint. PowerPoint. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Besides, wait, how have I never heard of it? What are these little things? Wait, hang on. These little creatures... Priya, Mora, Doro. They're, really, they're so special to me. Wait, Bogo. Oh, I have a Greeble. I made a Greeble U quiz too. Wait, hang on. Here, wait. Um, share, copy link. Sorry, it's on my Google. Yeah. Oh wait, these are the expanded Greebles. 
Okay, so here's expanded my PowerPoint. Expanded Greebles is like a Greeble expanded universe? Yes, yes. Okay, so on, these are up. these are not the normal... The ones that you shared, Arnold, those are different. The purple ones are the are like the true... Hey. Like the Gen 1 Greebles. These are like Gen Bro, 3. I'm going to be putting this up on the screen. Okay? okay? Yeah, go for it. We're gonna be, we're, you're gonna, you can, so the stream is going to see your so, PowerPoint. Just hold on. i gotta, yeah. I got to just line it up quickly. So, that this so context for this is I made this for my, I had a birthday party. Um, and so that's why the second slide is like, well, I mean, it, it applies to you guys too. But the second slide is like, thank you all for coming, et cetera, to my birthday. I love you all. Um, Wait, how long is the presentation? Can you just it's do the presentation? Like pages. Should I do what? it? I'll let Shaggy do it. You can like stream through. The first few are kind of just filler, I'll be honest. Find out which group. No, it's fine. I've you... got the, the Brooks PowerPoint about a topic near and dear to my heart. There we go. It's like it's open. So I'm on I'm on panel one. So let, yeah. let me know when you want me to switch to panel two and you can just explain uh, it. You can walk us through it all. You you go ahead. I've I've I know this PowerPoint. Like the back oh, okay. of my hand. You go you your own pace. Just, should I just read it out loud for, for everyone? Um, sure. Okay. It does get kind of long, though. You can just... That's I don't fine. know. I, I feel bad. I didn't mean for this to take no, it. No, this, this is interesting. You've been <laughs> no, providing us... This, so this is an insane topic, and I've opened a PowerPoint, <laughs> okay. and there's My Little Ponies now about Greevils. <laughs> okay. So we're going to figure out what the hell is going on right now. Okay. Um, okay, so this is Brooke's PowerPoint about a topic near and dear to Brooke's heart. So this is slide yes. two. Before I start, and there's the, the oh my God, I'm trying to support it back to 2004 with the, the one and, yeah. and exclamation. I want you all to know that you are all very cool and wonderful people. I'm excited and blessed to know you guys. This is obviously directed at people who are not us. No, it's <laughs> nice. towards you too. Towards it. This is it's probably towards... for a much more intimate occasion than just five no, dumbasses it's for, it's, on the internet. It's, I, it's actually Scum House for Scum House as well. Yeah. Oh, okay. No cool. cursing, Shaggy. I said dumb ass. another bad word. Ass is a swear word? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Oh. Oh. What about you dumb arse in... like uh, British, British ar like arse? Shaggy, Shaggy what, hap like what happened to say ball. bum? You love saying bum. I love saying dumb tummy. Bum. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> say bummy bum and, and tummy. tummy. Bummy and tummy. I got a bummy and tummy. I got runny tummy. <laughs> anyway, so slide three. But let's just try and get through this as a team. Okay, without okay, further ado, yeah. um, sorry, the, the jump to CGI caught me off guard. I believe <laughs> yeah. it is time for me to reveal the topic of which I will be presenting. I think you might have a good idea as to where I'm going with this. Brooke, I can promise you that I do not. Um, <laughs> okay, good. My topic is, oh my god, the preamble. My topic is, you. oh my Jesus, it's about... I'm sorry. Greeble, what the god damn is this, Brooke? I'm cursing! <laughs> Why did the ding dang diddly... Damn, is this? They're creepos! They're creepos! <laughs> okay, hold on. You must be wondering, Brooke, why creepos? You know, you know what, Brooke? You know your audience because that's what, that's what I'm thinking right now. Don't get me wrong. I'd love to do a presentation on MLP. But if I did, you'd be here for upwards of three hours. And that's for the next stream. And that would yeah. be fair to anyone. I'll do an in-depth pony presentation one day. But for the sake of time, I'll be presenting my knowledge and sharing my love of Greebles. Let's get this straight. They are not. There are so-called Greebles that exist out there. They are poses and they are not what we are talking about tonight. The Greebles in this image are the small blocks protruding from the right object used for detailing 3D surfaces. Most commonly for sci-fi movie ships. Think Star Wars Millennium Falcon. I haven't seen that. Um... Don't worry about the it. The Greebles here are a specific creature <laughs> from one of the Skylanders video games, which is my personal opinion, are not good. <laughs> <laughs> so why not Greebles? Greebles are constructs created to be used as stimuli for psychological studies of objects and face recognition. <laughs> studies show that fusiform face area, the part of our brain's visual system used for facial recognition, responds just as well to identifying greebles as it does to human faces. With this in mind, greebles can be to, st can be to study and detect oh, sorry. diseases I I in that up. effect facial Ooh, recognition almost, like alzheimer's and <laughs> and prosopagnosia face blindness okay. <laughs> <laughs> sorry what the hell the greebles come in two genders and five families plock gl and glip glip 
I want to see the up to date thing. I can't see what's happening. Oh, I'll just click through the. the yeah, the, I shared the, the link, um, Lars, if you want to just look through it and. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought somebody. <laughs> oh, I'll share. I can share the screen in no, Discord. Okay. Hold on. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. I should have oh. done that. I wasn't thinking. Okay, yeah, anyway, like back something... to the presentation. As stated oh, okay. in the chart to the left, Greebles come in two genders and five families. This is basically a way for study participants to name and categorize Greebles when identifying them. Look at the differences! It's less confusing <laughs> when you can see the identifying features of each gender and family. So, like, the the plucks have downward-facing ears and glips yes. have upwards-facing ears. Like, everything's upwards with glips. Precisely. Glips are erect and plucks are deflated. Yeah. Um, think about the genders as the binary male and female, and the families as Pokemon pipes. That's basically what's going on here. What the Pluck heck? Samar. Yeah. Pluck Samar, Pluck Osmit. What in the Gliptasio. God? Damn, is this, Brooke? Greeble anatomy and <laughs> why it's faces? what? faces? That's scary. Greebles have three <laughs> types of protrusions on themselves. Bogues, quiffs, and dunts. These... <laughs> 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 Arnold, Arnold, no one can hear you cackling. When you laugh, please push the talk. <laughs> Otherwise, they're just going to hear you faintly in the distance over my mic. I did press Okay, so these protrusions are signifiers for our fixation bias, aka areas where our eyes cling to in attempt of memorization. In the provided chart, we can see how both learning and recognition for humans, sheep and greebles, all have a focus on what would appear to be the head and mouth regions. Wow, this is in depth. There's more. Oh shit, new Greebles. I'm just uh, quoting it. I'm just quoting it. There's swears in the it's in the It's on screen. It's unavoidable. It's a, quote. it's a quote. Yeah. You don't have to it's let fine. class. You can, you're allowed to sing along. Uh, no, um, <laughs> uh, you can say Pucky. Oh, Pucky, new Greebles. <laughs> There's more. Yeah. I encourage you yeah. to look more into the lore of Greebles. They are so <laughs> whimsical. There's an immensely long but also very insightful study on Greebles and how participants relate it to facial slash object recognition. The particular study also introduces new Greebles. I thought we topped out at 151, dog. No, nah, man. You're telling me there's a thousand Greebles? There's more. There's so Gen many. Three. New Greebles this season. Yeah, Gen, Gen 3, Gen 4, Greebles. expanded. It's not good. It's too many. I prefer the Kanto Greebles to the Hoenn Greebles. Yeah. The Pato and Greebles. Yeah. <laughs> Pato and Greebles. Okay. <laughs> so let's see. Why I love Greebles so much. I've been obsessed with these fellows for well over five years now, but I don't get the opportunity to talk about them as much as I'd like. They're surprisingly hard to fit into normal conversation, if you can believe it. Okay. They have so much character and spunk. Eek. You can't tell me that each of these guys doesn't have a deep and harrowing backstory. <laughs> Alzheimer's is no joke. I think it's cool that these guys are potentially useful for studying and diagnosing it. Find out which Greeble you are. As a happy wow. interview, I made a very special yes. you quiz. Now you can all figure out which Greeble you are most akin to. Oh my goodness. Can I get the link I'm to the... That. I want to... Right oh, now. um, uh, let me get you the... Uh, I can send it as a link. One sec. I think Bro, I, just I feel like I'm a I feel like I'm a bogo, <laughs> but I but I might be a I might be a Doral. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna click back to the if, stream now. I hope. Uh... I will say if you Google it, the if you Google it, it's not the t first one. It's the second one. The first one is not mine. The second one is mine. But here, what? I'll share the link. Um, sure, sure. Oh, I won. <laughs> what Greeble are you? Enter your name. Shaggy. Oh, there you go. Let's go. All the Greebles look like Hilux NPCs. They're great. <laughs> 30 minutes. Oh, a free man. It's an intensive life. quiz. It's an oh intensive my goodness. quiz. Fight the yeah, choices intensive. to you. You guys don't have to take it now. I'm sorry. Could I we put on. Could we put on like uh, elevator music <laughs> and and do like a three minute intermission? And speed run this, and then come back with the results or something. Because we I need gotta... to put on like so like Sonic Drowning music to elevate the stress levels. 
Oh, yeah, you know I, what? I've I, got an idea. I've got an idea. Why doesn't Brooke just draw okay. on her own canvas? Her fa- She can draw, like, Greeble fan art while we do. I can do that. Uh, so, yeah, let me just, uh, let me just react. Greebleism. Yeah, for sure. Wait, can I open a new canvas? Okay, I'm on, I'm on canvas Dave off, too. I'll draw my Greeble fan art. Um... I don't know. It might just be silent while you guys take the quiz. I don't want to distract you. This is very Fallout New Vegas-esque. There's so many choices. (laughs) Thank you. I put a lot of thought into it. Yeah, let's see. Okay. I'm I'm muting myself. I intend to take this very seriously. Of course. Heavens. Okay. (laughs) Just keep it. Anyway, Brooke, uh, I'm gonna yeah. There we go. So there's a canvas. You get to draw your cool Greeble fan art. We're gonna yeah. Do that I'm just oh wait. You know what? Figuring I'm gonna, out I'm gonna what post. To draw. I'm gonna post the quiz in the ch- in the chat. Oh, that's so that, awesome. Uh, people can uh, people can show us. You know, like they can post what Greeble they got. Yeah, they can do the Greeble the hashtag Greeble um, challenge or whatever. And then that way, the chat can't yell at us for not including them. Exactly. They don't do that. They fucking, they freaking moan, and they groan, and they grunt, and they munt. You're making up a guy to be mad at right now. You're making up a guy to be mad at. <laughs> <laughs> the image selection. Oh, is it the one that's like the ones on my computer? Yeah, I like the mushroom lady. Thank you. I got that one from iFunny. <laughs> I heart <laughs> I love that one too. I wish I could choose them both. Pick a color that resonates with your soul. Brown. Brown. <laughs> brown. brown I, got a, I got a brown aura, according to laws. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot I put that question in there. Dang, dang this stream is really greeble pilled right now. I know. I, I did not mean to make the whole conversation about greebles, but I'm glad that you guys are having fun with it. Or at least I hope you are. Um... OMG, are you, you doing that? You tell Owen you can't let it show after two more hours. You scream and pass out due to stress. Need some Greeble fan art. Oh my god, pick an image Is from my computer. Is it a Plocktasio? Plocktasios are based. Man, I think, I think you yeah, can definitely Plocktasio. guess which of the images I picked. <laughs> Is it I Love Peeing? No, no, it's the one of the cool, <laughs> the cool robot. Back. I got my I was Greeble. tempted for that one. Oh, uh, the, like the um, that's a better. Digimon, actually. Oh, that's sick. I thought that was Mecha yeah. Godzilla, but then I realized he was holding a bunch of revolvers, and I was like, I'm pretty sure Mecha Godzilla doesn't have revolvers. No, it's Gundramon. I knew it was a Digimon. It had to be a Digimon. Yes. <laughs> those those designs, all the all the Digimon designs that were inspired by like Spawn and McFarlane and stuff like that, those rock. Mm-hmm. Dinosaurs with guns, hell yeah. I uh, I got my thing. Unfortunately, he's very flaccid looking. Oh, that's okay. All the all the Plock families are, you know, they may not look like they look, may not look like much, but they're they're real hoot. They're all great to party with. Okay. They can hang. Well, that that yeah, makes you hang. feel a little better. Of course. Is everybody else still doing the quiz? I finished mine. Choose a G4 pwn. I have no idea who any of these characters are. Unfortunately. That's okay. Whatever go off of, do the vibes. Yeah, go off of vibes. Matt, Mr. Matt, Cake what? looks yeah. so messed up. What? <laughs> what is wrong with it? everyone else? Looks like a normal horse, and then he just oh. has like, like two squares for a face. I'm picking him. Oh, Big Macintosh is evil. I do not like the look of this thing. I was gonna Fox ask Checker what what uh, Greeble does he got, but he already posted it in the main chat. I did. Uh, we're both plocks. Let's I got a plock Osmit, dude. A plock wow, this is, oh, this is plock a plock Osmit is a good one. Chat. Or not chat, like group. Everybody's plock. 
No, yeah, I got Plock Ploxamar, which is like the very very basic but also good. I, who else got Ploxamar? I feel like that's the most popular one. Uh I got I got that one as well. <laughs> Arnold's there Plock go. has a throbbing show. I got Clip Redock, bro. <laughs> You got clipped Locked off. You are headstrong and confident. There's no challenge too great for you. If there's something to win, you win it. Perhaps you are a little too powerful. <laughs> You're a little too powerful. This quiz is rigged. You are someone who acts first and thinks second. You live and swear by gut instinct, and so far it only served you well. You are filled with a curious, unbridled eagerness to explore. Oh, joy. That's close. That sounds That's pretty close. Heavens. I'm, I'm still impressed by how well endowed Arnold's plot is. I know. <laughs> Wait, what is what is Smith? Though others may find you intimidating on the surface, deep down you have a gentle heart. You have an exceptional capacity for patience and forgiveness, both for yourself and for others. Dog. Aww. That's good. No, that's so wholesome. One hundred. I think my <laughs> my pluck is like violent. Yours isn't like a pluck. That's why you're a glip. You're like, you're yeah. glip pilled. I'm erect. You're... I'm throbbing, dude. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Arnold's is throbbing but downward pointed. Yours is angular and sharp, like a uh, like an ovipositor or whatever those things don't are called. Don't say but... that has to count as a swear. <laughs> Come on, don't say ovipositor. That's, that's not vile. Hey, it's a part of a. It's a part of God's I would creation. Rather, I would rather my track. child hears the word shit. Let's say it. Tucky, oh, no, no, no. You <laughs> then then ovipositor. Because I don't, You've my kid will, Dad, what shit? I'll be able to explain it to What's an ovipot? No, I'm That's not explaining tucky. that. No, no, you've been poisoned by the internet. That's a beautiful thing. There was nothing I enjoyed more than catching grasshoppers during lunch at school or during class. Just say you need to go to the bathroom. No, you just, you enjoy them. Let them be You your enjoy friends. them. It's like you're eating them. <laughs> I guess that's kind of the direction things are going, but no, I just mean aesthetically. <laughs> you milk them. Uh, yeah, they're kind of cool. Yeah, you could scary. milk them. They spit that brown juice uh, brown when juice. they get up. That. OMG, more about the brown. That's crazy. Ah, uh, yes, it all comes back. It all my comes back. the same color as my ovipositor juice. <laughs> Anna, what, what, uh, what Greeble did you get? Oh, yeah. yeah. I did not take the Greeble quiz. Oh, no. Hannah oh, took that opportunity great. to run away and make an egg. As is her. Oh, no, I didn't. I'm animating. You're animating. Her yeah, for the video that's due. You're animating. Oh, oh yeah. I'm animating. You didn't hear this here because it probably isn't true, and if it doesn't happen, it's because we failed internally at meeting our own internal deadline. But, but, but we're dropping there's an episode. The there's an episode of Satina coming out next week Saturday. Yippee! <laughs> Ray. Potentially. Potentially. We are so back. We're so back. Shaggy, your Greeble has a very demonic demeanor. <laughs> yeah, he's a little devilish. Oh, yeah, Almost he's like a demon, he's you might mischievous. say. He's mischievous. I'm angry um, about my quiz. I'm not I'm not a, I'm not too powerful. That's stupid. No, but you don't know the power of which you yield. You yeah, are too right. powerful. You just don't know it. You just don't know it. Yeah, well with great power comes great destructive force. As was yeah. said by uh... Uncle Ben. And great greebles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all the know. all the greebles look like. Uh, how can I say this in a PG way? Uh, something that you would see in the window of oh, a store in they look like twenty. They look like uh, marital aids. <laughs> marital aids. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, marital aids. They look like Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven marital aids. <laughs> yeah. They look like non-gender conforming marital aids. They look yes. like goblins. But they are gender conforming. They have two genders. Yeah, they... Um, yeah. That's true. <laughs> they have They're very gender. The, the flock and... Uh... Oh, wow, people Which are... Gender gender flock? flock and glip. Are the plocks... Ma I already forgot. I apologize. I need to take the remedial course. Are the plocks male or female? They're neither. They're just plock. It's They're like and yeah, it's a it's a whole new gender. Yeah. Oh, well, so okay. What? So it's the second prefix that determines its gender. No, or am so I just confused? no, 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 no. There is no male and female, but there is just a binary of plock and glip. But yeah. one isn't oh, female, oh, one oh, male. Oh, it's just it's this whole other thing, as if there were aliens. Okay. 
I'm totally, uh, I was totally wrong. I need to take the remedial community college course. It's all good. This isn't there's actually... A lot, there's a lot to them. Chat, this isn't actually real, but if someone donates to make the, uh, the, the donation 69, like if they donate another $8.06 to make it 69, we will begin the day off immediately. Oh, wow, yeah, we still need to do that. Oh, yeah, we have <laughs> Well, I mean, we started the last Beowulf at the one-hour mark after everyone was warmed oh, up. true. If we don't hit the 69 thing, I am afraid that we are just going to do it anyway. So there is no consequence. I will threaten you that there is no yeah. consequence if we don't actually get the 69. Would be, would be nice, though. We could get one step closer to getting Lars that big new pipe or whatever. Yeah, uh, it's Lars's, those bubbles Lars's better, old yeah. pipe freaking exploded yeah. and we had to get him a new a new pipe well he he, he got his own new pipe How's the funniest part, part is yeah oh the funniest sorry part? What? no yeah, no cool. matt was saying something i won't forget no it wasn't funny go on <laughs> oh say it come on i said how's come he gonna on. smoke his tobacco without the pipe <laughs> yeah that's right i'm a i'm a dip <laughs> man i only chew tobacco <laughs> I, I, take, nice. I take after my uh my locust friends and uh spit brown goo everywhere uh, <laughs> that's awesome that's the same color as what i was gonna say the saddest thing about the pipe but also one of the funniest things is when i finally realized uh the pipe was burst uh was like months later oh. and i remember clear back during the scum house visit when everyone came down to the badlands to hang out going in my bathroom and hearing like rushing water vaguely from oh, yeah. in my bathroom somewhere and going like huh don't know what that's about <laughs> <laughs> and i was like maybe it's the water heater and then like two months later uh going uh, next to the side of my place and seeing like a massive oasis under my oh. deck like oh that That's sucks. what I was hearing in January. Now that it's March, what's funny though is uh, that I, when I was when I was on the Badlands, I would take a shower and the hot water would run out in like two minutes, and I'd be like, "Dude, I think something's wrong with your pipe. There's like no hot water." And he was like, "No, it's fine." I was like, "Okay." Well, it was uh, so actually that wasn't affecting the hot water, but when I was doing that, this is riveting shit. Or whoops! Oh no! Oh I'm sorry. no! Oh god! This is riveting. riveting. <laughs> yes, this is riveting it's stuff. Crazy. Uh, uh i uh i turned up the heat one notch on my water heater and now there is hot water for days so oh that's oh. good next no time cold water. um if there is ever a I next can actually time take to a be... bath yes so yes. i well I, you could take a bath i showed you the meta for i'm that. not a i'm not a fairy <laughs> princess so i don't take <laughs> baths uh i take showers uh but when I was at Lars's place, uh, I was in a very bad mood the one day, and he was like, "You should take a bath. It'll, it'll it'll relax you. Just get in the bath, and it'll be nice." So I folded up to like, like just above my ankle, and then the hot water ran out, and I was just sitting in like very, very cold water <laughs> in the bath, going, "This sucks." That's did it help your mood? Um, funnily enough, it did because I was like, I, I would be in a better mood if I wasn't in this cold bath. So I got out and dried myself, <laughs> and then I was in a better mood. And see, it worked. It worked. I was it did the power. I got like the Malcolm in the Middle brainwashing treatment as a kid, in which when you're in a bad mood, the way to treat it was to make yourself feel way worse. So when you went back to that normal, it felt better. It was just like a, I think, I think, um. I don't think it worked too well because I, I heard that my cub my cub scout leader uh, subsequently then killed themselves many years later. So I don't know oh. if that oh if that, uh, if that um, it might have been unrelated though to him being a cub scout leader. But I just that, that I remember thinking that was pretty funny that like so much it was of definitely my, correlated. So much of my attitude comes from this guy and what was instilled in me. But uh, he 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 was of the mindset of like um, misery makes you the best friends, like make friends with misery. So he would always give us like these horrible wow. tasks to do with our friends, and look, it worked. I mean, I'm still best friends with uh, the my t the two guys I was in I uh, went to camp with. Like, I was literally playing with uh, hell divers with one of them today. Like, we've been best friends ever since we went through that hellish camp together, um, and that's where we became friends. So I believe in it. Like, being miserable with your friends makes them better friends. I mean, look at look at us uh, getting through. Yeah. What is, what, is, what is it called? Yeah, I just made Trauma you take bonding. a Google quiz. Wow. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah. a quiz, yeah, that was, 
Brooke, you and I are... are Greeble are... bonding. <laughs> so Greeble coded. Uh, the, the blood of the covenant runs through both our veins now, dude. Exactly. Um, <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, no, that, that was that was something that was important. So, like, yeah, so the, 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 the awful bath really uh, helped. It did actually improve my mood. Because when, you, when you're in a crappy situation, it puts things in perspective. That's kind of why I was looking forward to the road trip through Nevada. Because I was like, there's going to be miserable parts of this. Um, and boy, was I <laughs> right about that one part. When my feet were well, falling off. What was off. the one part? Oh, I, oh no. I took a we Lars took us to this absolutely beautiful place called uh, uh, the Valley of Fire, and it was a very big rock, and I was standing oh, on top of it. Oh yeah, yeah. And Lars was Sorry. like, he was like, "Hey Shaggy, do you need do you need help? Because you're a big dumpy baby who's gonna fall off this rock and hurt himself." And I was like, "No, it's fine. I can get down off the rock myself." And then I jumped off the rock and immediately crashed against the ground and. And and I Ow. and I hit the ground and I heard a crunch in my ankle and it hurt like a dickens, and I remember I remember Lars looking at me disappointed because he was like, "Did you just hurt yourself? Like, are we gonna have to like not be able to walk around this like majestic nature park because you've injured your le leg?" And I went, "No, I'm fine." And I shot up to my feet in excruciating pain and I was like, "No, I'm I'm fine." And the embarrassment was like masking my uh, obvious <laughs> discomfort, but then. Uh, uh, I only realized the damage once I got back to the hotel because my entire ankle had swollen up. And I was like, whatever, I can just take it easy. And then the next day, through a confluence of circumstance that basically led us getting lost in Las Vegas, we had to walk around for an hour so we could find a Chinese garden um, that was not yeah. as advertised. It was supposed to be this enormous indoor garden, and it wasn't. It was a food court with some fake, le fake trees in it or whatever, but there was a cool dragon. And we walked all the way there, so we walked around and took photos. But by the time I got back to the hotel, I had eight blisters on my feet, and I was miserable. Oh, oh my goodness, someone actually donated what we needed to get $9. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, $69. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> right. just sweet, you know, of this Everyone drop your greebles. We got a Dave off. To... Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's... How beautiful. Aww. That's what I was about to do anyway in, in the drawing. Fishy boy, none thank you so money. much. It's beautiful, none of man. Money is actually going towards a pipe. I just want that to be fully disclosed. No, it's going. It's going towards my leg lengthening surgery, so I can be. Yes. So what, you can be lopsided. Oh, I, I, I've heard yeah. of those. Like, doesn't it just like raise you by like an inch, but you have to like break every bone in your legs? Yeah, you have to le relearn to walk. It costs like like ninety grand or some some awful. Oh, what? <laughs> just just get tall shoes. Just get like elevated shoes. You don't need nah, that. No, 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 no. <laughs> just do one toy. leg, and then wear a goth platform boot on the other foot. Yeah. <laughs> Laws, I'm oh, yeah, so disappointed in, you're not going to be able to come to uh, the thing because I had uh, I when I next time I met you in person I was I was orchestrating something funny for you, but oh. I'll just have to I'll just have to wait until next time. I'm sorry, yeah. I went over my finances, and uh, I was like, I broke out into a cold sweat. I started panicking. Uh, so I had to I had to bail. No! I had to bail. Someone donated $15 in immediate... I mean, I'm very thankful that you did. I'm uh, cheering for you, Brooke. Loved your entry last time. <laughs> Brooke, you put oh, a, thank you. You put a baby That's so sweet. But uh, wow. oh. it went from it went from. Wait, I don't see. I think it was a PayPal donation, so I don't think it's actually gonna oh show. It won't change the super chat, so it'll still be at sixty nine. <laughs> thank God. Okay. But thank you very much for the donation. And and let's start. And with that, let us begin. Okay? Yeah, let's do so, it. So the prompt is what Dave, shirtless Dave, or Dave removing his becoming shirtless. I mean, there's a okay. lot you can do with becoming shirtless. There's a lot of things is, that can cause that. Is he doing something else? No, I or think let's just leave that up for interpretation so Dave. we have some okay. fun variety. Dave in some form of undress with okay. his shirt. Got Dave it. in some form of undress undress in duress. Can I take top right again or should we Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure, sure. Uh, just okay. yeah, everyone should, write your just be my original write your positions. name in the top left of your uh in the top left. Okay, so yeah, that's checkers, brook uh arnold wait actually shit i feel bad for arnold because he's got okay you know what, for the babe off i'm gonna pop like dat weasel is gonna take a he's gonna take a trip 
um, to the back of the. He's gonna, gonna go take the hike. His, he's gonna go on his Tinder date. <laughs> yeah. Hike. Uh, Brooke, you started a voice call in the in the. Magma. Oh my god! I didn't mean to. Oh no! <laughs> How do I stop? I'm so sorry. I think it's done. I think it's gone. <laughs> it's yeah, Brooke I started that a voice call. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Oh, oopsie. <laughs> hee hee oops okay oh, yeah, i was, I was getting go. reference yeah. material what am where, which part of the thing am i in uh you're uh, in the, the bottom uh, left but don't worry you're not gonna be obscured original. by that weasel yeah if only i could be obscured by that weasel the dream the dream <laughs> the deadly premonition. it was so perfect it was perfect last time too because it was like blocking the feet um like it was a <laughs> You mean the hooves, the hoofs. Oh yes, the hooves. Gaggy, were you the one that bought these disgusting barbecue uh, sunflower seeds and left them at my home, or was that someone no, else? No, that was me, yeah. I thought that would be nice, and they tasted awful, so I didn't eat them, and I left them there. I also left I'm a still... case of ramen noodles. Yeah, and a bunch of garbage street books. <laughs> well, I would have taken them with me if someone had left their garbage, dirty street clothes for me to take with. Okay, I have is it. Hannah, I wait, hold on. Is Hannah? Did Hannah fuck? Did is Hannah go? Where's Hannah? She's there. Right Hannah here. Was... Wait, she's here. Okay. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. Hannah left. Sorry, Hannah. Hannah? I, thought you, I thought you wandered away during the climactic start of our <laughs> of our day. <laughs> wandered. No. Oh God, are we starting? I'm nervous. Hannah left. Day off is beginning. I see the she vision. Doesn't... Hannah's she been practicing wanna... this whole week. <laughs> What? Uh, Arnold, I already know what you're drawing. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be, Arnold, it's gonna be you a might, tough one to be. Arnold, you might want to shrink What's it up? so you can get full body, dude. So you can draw him barefoot. Yeah. You need to keep your, your foot streak going. This is awesome. He's so awesome. <laughs> what are you and making him do, so awesome. Jack is, what, the, what is this? It's, uh, I'm going for the part one, part two. Or, oh, uh, I see, I see. That's cool. You'll see. Look, the vision the, will the be yellow, realized. The yellow is kind of hard to see against the white. Oh, is there so a way sorry. of darkening it, making um, it more mustard? Yeah, absolutely. Here, I'll make it, I'll make it a mustard. nice hot red. Hot red? A nice hot red. Oh. Motorcycle flame red. Hang on. Do you like All drawing right. in yellow usually? I do is like the the undertone. Oh, if it's the layer. undertone or whatever, I thought that was like fun. Sorry, my brain spazzed out. Of course, yeah, you're not. No, gonna it's have okay. It. I forgot that that's what you did initially. Yeah, I make like 15 million sketches, and then I make line art that looks like it just looks like another sketch. Um, so it's really counterintuitive. It doesn't help anyone, um, including me, but I do it anyways. For some reason. You're so real for that, dude. Thank you. I'm just a hashtag girl boss, I guess. Is he going to be like spread eagled, Brooke? I don't know what this point is. He might have his jorts on. We don't know. Yeah, that's going to be like the always sunny <laughs> bit. He gets... Yeah. <laughs> he can go lower. <laughs> I mean, maybe I should do that. <laughs> oh, that's... Too wide, I, might... No, I might... It's okay. I might... No, 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 no. I, I got this, I got this. So, Laz, you're running do couch do commentary yeah. on the day wolf with me today. So you're not drawing. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm yelling at people in the chat. Why? What, what are, are they saying? doing? I'm not looking at the chat. Please learn to spell Satina. <laughs> I, like when they call I like it when they see Santina. That's awesome. Santina. With episode 5, Santina's big belly ache. <laughs> yeah, she goes. Tina froze Dude, up. I don't know, Brooke, Matt. I don't know what the hell, what the heck has been going on with our chat, uh, with our comments or whatever. But I think since day one, we've had someone or or a multiple. There's been a group effort or one guy with a ton of alt accounts that is just yeah. begging for a Satina episode titled "Satina's Big Belly Ache." Or like awesome. big belly or something like that. Or Satina gets a tummy ache or something like that. And it is. I miss the dentist guy, because that one was pretty yeah. funny as well. Just the people who just who are like, if I just comment this enough, I will will it into existence. And honestly, like at some points, it might not be obviously it won't be a full episode, but I mean we've definitely manifested some of that craziness into Satina plans. But uh, 
I don't I want to encourage that kind of behavior, but gosh, I do. I do laugh every time I see Satina's big belly ache in the <laughs> comments. It always makes me laugh when I see it. It was this guy's, and it's always a different account. So I'm like, this guy's determined. Well, there's like a group of people with the same idea. That's dedication. Well, some maybe it's just a different person every time they realize that the mantle needs to be yeah. continued, needs to be taken the, up. And uh, they're like, shared well, consciousness like the is, is manifesting the same idea. Yeah. <laughs> the guy learned to spell Satina. Dude, you are manifesting positivity in our chat, and I'm here for it. <laughs> you talking to me or somebody else? No, you, you. I like it. I'm doing a an impromptu hooked on phonics session, learning session with the chat. We're learning to spell today. We're we're spreading literacy. We're becoming a more learned nation. Michael Salden, next week Saturday there'll be more Satina to answer your question. Maybe, there we go. maybe. Maybe, but if you're if you're very good and you leave um if you leave sweets you keep... treats for the little elves in your house then yeah, yeah we'll, we'll release it. If you keep selling so, like, it correct, we might consider making more. Yeah, so instead of like milk and cookies, what do they leave out by the the chimney for you guys when you deliver your new episode of Satina? Red Bull, <laughs> cans of Red Bull, yeah. all flavors. Mm -hmm. Peach, the peach uh, monster, those are good. What was the question? Why did everybody go silent? <laughs> I wouldn't figure it. out what the question was. I couldn't figure out. I forgot how to spell Satina in my head for a second. I was figuring it out. Sorry. <laughs> Dude, it was Arnold's, Arnold. Uh, he turned to an undisclosed age recently, and I got him a birthday cake, and I got him those candles where it's like two numbers, two big wax numbers. And I was holding them in my hand, and Hannah was watching me just become completely silent, staring at them, not knowing what the hell I was doing. Um... <laughs> And I was staring at it, and she's like, you good, champ? And I was like, I can't remember which way a two and a seven go. Because when I was holding them as 3D <laughs> objects in my hands, I couldn't actually physically remember which way a two and a seven faced. And I had a senior moment um, in full <laughs> view of my best friend. Uh, so I, I can sympathize with the dyslexics in the chat. Because uh, I was literally yeah, holding physical objects in front of me, and I could not figure it out. That's I, full I always make fun of you for your, for your spelling errors in here. And, and whatnot, and then you're like, I had dyslexia as a, as a kid, it was very hard to overcome, and then I feel really bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, had to, I had to go to remedial therapy after school, where I had to draw on, like, huge cartoonish letters on a whiteboard, like a B and a D, and the way I remembered the, which way a, a lowercase B and D was spelled was you write the word bed, and it needs to look like a bed. And I would always, oh, like, I remember smart. I remember just writing bed at the edges of my worksheets all the time to try and, like, just have a reminder <laughs> of B and D, because I used to flip those ones a lot. Um, and then I had to make these, like, uh, another thing they made me do, made me at gunpoint. Um, <laughs> yeah, she, she unsheathed, uh, she unsheathed a, a scabbard, a scabbard and, and held it against my throat while I was forced to make, wow. uh, what do you guys call them? Play-Doh? What do you guys call it? The... Yeah, Play-Doh. Yeah, Play-Doh. Play I had to make big Play-Doh letters with my hands because part of the like dyslexia brain therapy is like building the letters with your hands to help like form the shapes. But like I remember just ha and I was a very difficult child. I wouldn't want to do it. So she had this. I'm not joking. In the back of the facility was a gigantic wooden skate ramp, um, and large <laughs> cartoonish bowling pins at the bottom. And if I did the work I was allowed to do for the last 10 minutes of my session, I was allowed to grab a skateboard, sit on the top of the ramp, and go down and smash these bowling pins down with my body on the oh. skateboard, That's set them brilliant. up, and do it over and over again. Like, that was just the reward. And it was honest. To, I, I would not be able to read if it wasn't for that skateboard and bowling pins. Because that, yeah, was, that, was, that was enough to motivate me. That was a tremendous <laughs> amount of motivation. That's awesome. I, I like how you qualify like you didn't want to make the letters out of Play-Doh as if that's some sort of compelling thing to do. Like, who would want to do that? I don't know. I don't want to do that. That sounds fun. Yeah, you see, but I would have hated that. Would you, but would you have been motivated by the skate ramp? Yeah, uh, probably. Probably. No, I was asking Lars because he thought school sucked. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's Sure, but, but I'm just saying in and of itself, like... Hey, what do you want to do today? Do you want to make the letter B out of Play-Doh? It's like, no, I don't. I don't want to be here. 
I don't want to be in. <laughs> Lars, I think you'd appreciate this. Um, I don't remember doing this, but I remember being told this by family uh, that I was a, a, I was a problem solver already as a young kid, wherein um, I noticed that the other kids, uh, like if they're, like the one kid was drawing with his crayon and it broke and the teacher was like, it's okay, you don't have to draw. You can just wait until we do the next exercise. So I would just routinely break all my crayons and be like, oh, I can't draw. Uh, my crayons are broken. I don't want to do this. Not draw, <laughs> sorry. Uh, draw letters and stuff. Like we had to do that. And I was like, oh, sorry. My crayons are all broken. I oh no, how did that happen? I, oh, jeez. I dropped all my crayons. But yeah, Imagine. that was a... Uh, Imagine what deranged child wouldn't want to get up at like 7.30 in the morning to go write letters for eight hours in an uncomfortable desk. No, that's that's everything to me. That's what I dream of. Well, Arnold, I don't want to, I don't want to like backseat <laughs> sex for you. I'm but lying. if he was like giving like a side eye smirk like that, it might be a bit harder than him just looking off to the right. Yeah, but it's funnier. Cause oh, like, okay. Oh, do you want to go for? I do like it. He's referencing the original image. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out, like, what would be, like, two funny people, like, turning... Because remember in the video, there's, like, these two people who, like, turn their heads, or like, whoa. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What about what Lucia about and Lucia Azalea? And Azalea? <laughs> <laughs> They're out on a night on the town. I like, I like Checkers the skinhead, uh, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> this is final form. He's already got the receding hairline. He's, he's, in the, he's in the wrong political compass slot. You and Brooke should switch sides. Because uh, <laughs> right now she's in the authoritarian right I'm, slot and you're I'm in the authoritarian left slot. You guys should swap. Oh, no, sh <laughs> we have a really funny comment from uh, a bloogie woogie woo just going, Dave is fat? Dave is a, a little bit. Dave is a, he's got yeah. a dad bod. What is he? Yeah. And uh, women keep trying to it's gaslighting me that they like that sort of thing, but uh, I'm it's not a tight shirt it. too. That's the, that's the whole point. Someone of this does one. ask. Someone does ask. Does wearing a tie of your daughter add or reduce the risk? I don't know. Wearing a tie that your daughter made you. Wait, is it that your like, daughter made or of your daughter? I think made yeah. is. It's just like I'm a good dad. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you're flexing. You got it off Alibaba. <laughs> We should have looked up reference. Oh well. Do you want yeah, me to send you the Dave model sheet? Checkers. No, no, I meant for. Uh, oh, for sexy men. For. Oh, okay. Hold on, I can. F I've got a whole folder of that. <laughs> <laughs> One second. Oh, it's too large to send over Discord. Ah, uh, shoot. Next time. <laughs> does Dave have like cartoonish like arm hair? Yeah, he does. Uh, he has like. Hold He's on. got the Homer Simpson three lines of arm hair. Yeah. He has five lines of arm it's hair. Really is... It looks like this. He's got three beautiful arcs of hair on his arm. Does. Does he have chest hair? We've never really. Uh... Uh, a few, a few strands. A little curly whirlies. Yeah. Why is he holding <laughs> lipstick? Is he doing the like belly savalis thing, Hannah? <laughs> You'll see. Oh no, he is. He's doing Bailey Savalas. I hate that shit. That shit. <laughs> yeah, so that gross. Was... <laughs> it's better than Kabumbo, though. What the fuck is Kabumbo? Oh. It's the bum version of Bailey Savalas. Kalumbo. No, it's Kabumbo. <laughs> Kalumbo. <laughs> I'll explain it oh later. Oh my god, that's good. Kabumbo. It's Columbo if he uh, was homeless and didn't have no, a job. It's Columbo if he <laughs> was an Ace Ventura <laughs> talking butt. I didn't make his face long enough. Oh. Laws fell silent when these Daves started manifesting on screen. I, I know. know, he said homina homina. He huh? went homina homina. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> I'm sitting here chewing on these this? barbecue these <laughs> barbecue seeds that you bought like two months ago. Why I'm don't you plant chewing. them in your yard and grow some beautiful sunflowers? <laughs> You grow some barbecues. I mean, yeah, some barbecues. Some barbecues. Some yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll dump them out in the uh, aquifer that spawned under my home with the burst pipe and uh, oh. watch the barbecue sunflowers grow high with their uh, brown auras radiating all over my neighborhood for all to see. Oh, beautiful brown barbecue aura. That's awesome. Yes.
<laughs> yeah, when <laughs> when I got my aura read with the giant uh, Greeble pottery machine, they were like, "Oh, your your uh, your your aura is barbecue flavored, hickory barbecue flavored." And you said yes. Yes, <laughs> I have been salted and roasted in the astral plane. That's awesome. What would your aura's flavor be? I feel like mine would be like vinegar, salt and vinegar. Um, <laughs> like the lately chip. it would be the chips. Pork. Yeah, <laughs> mine would be mine would be you know like the greasy part of like chicken skin that you know you're you're not you know you're not supposed to eat it. The but crunchy it really KFC good. chicken it's skin. The, the, yeah, the literal best right. part. It's oh, no, not I, even chicken. I'm not a huge fan yeah. of a of, of of a crunchy aura. Crunchy auras. Yeah, is aura oh, supposed to be I like? Sort of... Is this like a, a food that's supposed to be soft or crunchy with aura? I don't know, but I feel like an aura shouldn't be crunchy. An aura should be like soft, like 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 a soft serve ice cream. Yeah, because you never. It's like when you bite into something and it's not the texture it's supposed to be. That's immediately off putting. Like you, if you but if you bit into ice cream and it was like crunchy, you'd be like, hmm, that that's not right. <laughs> Or if you've eaten no, something crunchy it's like, and it's really soft. It's like chocolate ice cream that's like crunchy. Yep. Those are fine. Those are okay. Right? I don't know. I've never had crunchy chocolate ice cream. You mean like ice cream that has like hardened chocolate around it? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll like, oh, I, I don't know if that yeah. counts as like crunchy. I I haven't been able to really eat like crunchy sweets in a while because like, I still have sweets, but not the kind where I'm like worried I'm going to like mess up my teeth. Right. Do, Speaking Arnold, of, uh, when you say, wait, do you mean freezer burn when you mean crunchy? Oh, no, I just meant like in a general sense of like you're eating something that's supposed to be like one way and then it it isn't like uh, like if you oh, ate something okay. that was supposed to be soft or if you're eating something that was hard and it was like really soft, you're like something's not right there. I see. I, I got, see. I got a bad one in this batch. So, uh, oh, OK, thank you. Speaking I don't like my I idea anymore. That, uh, the Arnold. Arnold hasn't been having a good time lately uh, with his uh, his physical health because he's been, he's been sickly. But every he's morning when he when every morning he wakes up, he is the, he is the crustiest person we've ever seen in my life. <laughs> he stumbles into the office every morning looking like he spent the night fighting his mattress. Um, yeah, I, yeah. Last night was pretty bad. I it wasn't even because I was sick. It was because I went to sleep kind of late, and then I was like, ah. I got something in my eye. I, you know, like when like an eyelash or something falls in your eye and you just have yeah. something in there. And so I was like, okay, I got to deal with this. And I went to the bathroom and I washed my eye for a little bit. I, like it got to the point where I was like touching my eye to try and get it out. And I was like, I don't see this. Where is where is this guy? And it was just dude, two hours of this, two hours of this before I can go to sleep. It was horrible. And you know what? I never even got it out. I I just. I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna close my eyes and 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 go to sleep and hope that this goes away by tomorrow. And it did. So nice. I had um a similar thing with that. Um, not like because of that, but because uh, I was wearing contacts, and you're not supposed to put them inside out. Like, so I didn't. You know, I just put them in, and like my eye was really uncomfortable for like the entire day. And I thought, wow, what's some, I don't know, what's got like an eyelash in there? And, you know, I spent the whole day feeling uncomfortable. And then I was like, wait, I took my contact out and I realized I put it in backwards. And Ooh. it's like the same kind of thing. I'm just like, oh. I dealt with it. I'm so sorry. That sounds, <laughs> you, that's, I that dealt sounds with horrible. It. You just suffered through it. You were just it like, was yeah. I was like, was oh, like, I should have checked so... that sooner. <laughs> wait, if it's reversed, does the light still filter through it properly? It does, yeah. So like, it, it, it can still lens? see. It does, so, like, it doesn't really... S like, I think it's maybe, like, a little bit more blurry, probably, if I was paying attention. But it still functions, like, basically the same. And then, uh... So I don't think to check it unless it's really uncomfortable, which it was. But I thought it was, like, my eyelash or something. So, so literally, it functions on both sides. It's just one side is more uncomfortable arbitrarily? yeah. Why do they yeah, so not like, make both sides? Uh, I assume it's some sh something to do with like the shape of our eyelid or eyeballs or something. Maybe, but it sounds like you made it work. That's very mysterious. <laughs> yeah. yeah I had another time where I put one in when it was ripped, and I was like, why does this hurt so much? And then when I took it out later in that day, I was like, oh, it's, it's got a why big, you... giant rip in it. Like, out of curiosity, what is with 
so you physically just stick shit onto your eyeball every single yeah. day instead of just wearing glasses? Every other I, I switch it up. I do it every other day so that way my contact batch lasts like twice no, no, as no, long. But why don't you? You could make it last forever if you just never use them. Why do you? Um, wear, why do you wear contacts? I'm always curious to ask people. Uh, <laughs> they're comfortable, I guess. Like, well, when they're not inside out or anything. <laughs> but so you know, you don't it's feel like... them on your eye constantly. No, I'm like so used to touching my eyeball because of them. So. No, no, but I mean, when they're in your eye, you can't tell that you're wearing them. The only time I can tell when I'm wearing them is if they've been in for like 12 hours and they're like kind of dry. But even then, sometimes I'll I'll just like not notice it because. I probably wear them too long and got used to it. Uh, Rob's not a good that's, argument, that's I'm sure. I, I mean, at least, at least you're like using something for for the longest time. And you know what? I haven't been wearing my glasses because I don't know where they are. But uh, yeah, I got like prescription glasses when I was a teenager, and I was just like, you know, what? I don't want to look like a nerd. I don't want to look like a dork. I'm not gonna Bro. wear these. And then, um, Dude, basically, there was that. one point. I, th th it's not. It's not you. I just, in general, I was like, I, this does not look good for me. Um, there was one point, like I think, at the beginning of this this year, where I was like looking at Hannah's cat, and I was like, oh, it's a little, it's a little like blurry. Let me put these glasses on. I haven't put them <laughs> on in a while. And then immediately, I got HD misty, and I was like, wow, I really, <laughs> I really need to actually wear my glasses and. I, don't, I think they might be in Anna's car or something. I don't know where they are. I gotta go I find them. Care. You have them. They might be in my. I saw them backpack. when we were in Canada. I'm pretty sure. I'll I'll, I'll go look for them, but yeah, well, I need to like wear them. looks like a bomb went off inside of it. So we should probably like, if we clean up, we'll find your glasses. But we'll let... wait, yeah. Matt. What the hell are you doing? <gasps> what did you do? It's no. on another layer. No, Matt. No. Oh, okay. It's on another. Oh, you do it. Were you not happy with that? No. Ah, okay. Oops. No worries. You're you're the fastest out of everyone here, so you can really whip out of. Well, yeah, dude. I mean, your storyboards for all over like the fun. cartoon, you whipped up in like an evening. Oh. Took a while to get started. True. Yeah, Hannah. All Hannah, right. Hannah gave you guys all a head start. She went to go grab a banana. I'm gonna try. <laughs> I was just sweating about how I was gonna draw this. I think this one's a funnier idea, so I'm gonna do this. I uh. This has got direct reference. Where's my pen? Oh. There we go. I stole it. Oh, so no, you straight up obliterated it. Yeah, thank you. It's on another layer, so we'll, uh... I'll, it'll be like a yeah. horrible mansion. Yeah. It's a fallen soldier. Fallen soldier. That's like <laughs> extra credit right there. Dude, Hannah, Hannah, look, have... at the, look at the chat right now. Oh, what? Uh, someone wrote, or Ariella's fan 2 wrote, Banana. <laughs> Banana. Some, someone else is giving me grief. Uh, Ariola. Uh, does, no, no. <laughs> does she have different teeth than Lucia? Am I crazy? Yeah, she does. They she face teeth upwards, don't they? They're like little fangs. I see. Lucia's teeth are like uh, Lugia teeth. They're like fat. If you like the, if you want to see more of the queens, hang on to your hosiery because uh, we have a we have a, a short coming out that's going to be just the queens all just hanging out and chatting. So uh, that's right. Um, yeah, just some girl talk. So rev up that rule thirty four. Rev up those fryers. Rev up those fryers because I sure am hungry. I sure am hungry for one crit. Um, and then in that episode, flavor. they find the One Piece. Yeah. <laughs> spoilers! Spoilers! Oh, Nyx has her penguins. <laughs> Do any of the other queens have pets? Hmm. Uh, what are the penguins no. are her subjects? They, they're, I don't know, I think they're her only, they're her only source of company. Because uh, animals don't usually go to heaven or hell when they die, but Nyx is a special... I think uh, Toko, she's in isolation. Toko and what's the Australian one? So the African queen and the, the Australian queen, I'd imagine, have a lot of pets. Um, uh, maybe. Toko would, definitely. She's got like sphinxes and whatnot. Maybe. Well, this, uh, yeah, they wouldn't be like animals, real animals, though. They're, like, it's hell, not a, yeah, it'll be like hell animals. variants, yeah. But, uh, yeah. so do animals just not have souls in Satina? Are they like soulless automatons <laughs> that are destined well, for right. the Bolivian no, engine? They all go to heaven. That's right. 
You can torture them freely. Arnold, and... Arnold they all go to... <laughs> no, they all go to heaven. That's why there's none in hell. Uh, except that's, penguins. That's, except that's penguins a nice better option. Penguins don't have a soul. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it, yeah, committed, uh, hell, hell is crimes. full of like mosquitoes, alligators. <laughs> what are the like real bastard oh. animals? Uh... Kangaroos, they're scary. Dude, have you seen that I think video there's of the... a separate like animal hell with animal hell queens. Dolphins. Yeah. <laughs> have you seen oh, animal hell <laughs> Yeah. 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 Dolphins, horses, guppies. Oh yeah, horses, horses. Ducks. All of yeah. there's, an entire, there's an entire hell separate just for ponies. Yeah. <laughs> they, all, they all go there. No matter how good they were in their former life, they all go there. Yeah, yep. it's original sin. Kenna, yeah. I want to yeah. ask, what is sexy about this drawing you did? It's funny, but like, if this is a sexy battle of... Them, is it, oh, okay. You know what? That's, yeah. that, that's one way to win an argument. Yeah. It's, it's father father daughter bonding is sexy. That's true. <laughs> he's a good he's a good dad. Uh, that makes him that makes him attractive. He's willing to debase and humiliate himself for the entertainment and scorn of his daughter. There's nothing sexier than that. <laughs> man, you live in a in a fun world. That's right. That's right, man. I do. That's right, man. <laughs> right. Yes, I do. <laughs> that is right, Maine. My main yeah, man. My man. Yeah, my main. Man. Main, main. Yeah, man. <laughs> Dude, we have to go do shrooms in the desert, and this is no. specifically aimed at just uh 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 laws. I'll let gonna... I'll let you do them. No, first, I'm gonna I'm gonna grill us up some delicious portobello mushrooms, dude. Are... I'll nice. leave you in the bombed out car in the middle of the desert. And <laughs> 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 I'll my, and I'll but I'm having my vision quest. Up. No, man, I was joking. Mm -hmm. I was going to say um, the mushrooms that your mom made us were delicious. And I, I've been thinking about them recently. And I want to know how Honestly, to make them. I didn't even remember that she made anything. When we, when she with. made us the tacos. Yeah, because could. she was like, your fussy friend Hannah's coming over. Let's make her something she'll eat. Um I don't think mushroom tacos would be a great choice for somebody. No, but it was, it was, a, it was, it didn't she specifically make something that you could assemble yourself so you could just make it exactly how you wanted? Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. The, the tacos were modular. Yeah, it was modular. Modular. Dun, 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 dun. Anyway, um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I remember those mushrooms being delicious, and I was making a joke saying I, I wanted to go out in the desert and have mushrooms with your mom again because <laughs> that was awesome. That was a fun time. Yeah, we'll we'll do it again next time. I'll take you guys to the old west town and the uh, I want to the the abandoned restaurant with the giant hollow uh, cactus sculpture in the front. That'd be awesome. Going like going through that abandoned Chinese restaurant with you was really fun. Oh uh, yeah, that was fun. In the middle of in the middle of the Nevada desert, we found this like bombed out Chinese restaurant, and uh, it was completely abandoned. We managed to get inside, and we. Didn't we take the drinks menu, the like 1980s like Pepsi drinks menu? Yeah, I still <laughs> have it. I have a place to put it. It's, it's like behind your TV, my... isn't it? Yeah, it's just laying on the that ground. That was awesome. There. I don't know what to do with it. Did you like you, my You were dedicated. Oh yeah, because it was locked behind this glass case, and we were like, "How do we get this out? We can't. We can't like pry the case open." So I just fucking punched a hole through the first place glass <laughs> to try and get at this thing. <laughs> That was awesome though. I really enjoyed that. We, I was, I was tempted to try and steal. It was a Chinese restaurant, and it'd been turned into a Chinese restaurant. And it used to be a Greek restaurant. So there were all these like it used to fake be a, a satellite. Uh, like what do they call that when something's kind of a chain, but it only has a franchise? Couple things in it? Yeah, it was like the second or third franchise. Mad Greek, I think it's called the Mad Greek restaurant. But then it stopped being that and became a Chinese restaurant. But it had a ton Sorry, of the old ahead. Greek is... decor. So it was a Chinese restaurant with a bunch of these, uh, like, Venice de Milo yeah, like, concrete ro... busts. Yeah, Greek pillars. Greek <laughs> pillars. and <laughs> It was awesome. It was cool. And people, yeah, uh, the, the Greek, the Mad Greek, the actual restaurant that's still around, that sculpture uh, in the background of Naughty Boys is a photo that I took of that Greek sculpture at the Mad Greek. Oh, of course, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, if you watch Naughty Boys, all the photographs in the, the bottom of the sea that, like, photo collage stuff is all just stuff that Lars took. Those are all photos he took and, like, that we gave him from our own adventures. 
So yeah. Yes. Um. Also, the background, like, there's, there's other, there's other really cool Easter eggs related to Scum House in the background that somehow no one's found. Um, yeah, no one. That was so demoralizing. <laughs> that was I so was demoralizing. Like, oh. We're like, this is such a cool sneak peek for like future projects, and no one's found it yet. But I hope maybe they'll see it eventually. Well, um, we'll see. We'll see. Now that they've got a hint. But uh. Yeah, well, yeah, after like this stream, we'll see, like, later. an eight... An, yeah, a year later, yeah. No, I don't know. It's I think that's short... Like a year. Oh, no, no, no. I thought you meant a year later from now. Oh, no, 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 yeah. no. Damn, Brooke going hard with the full-on background layout. Oh, that's my cool. God, bro. Okay, all right, it's <laughs> over. She's, she's representing that's... the I went authoritarian silent. I'm role sorry. very well. I, I went into a fugue state. I, where am I? <laughs> One of these days, I'm gonna get a topic that's just like drawing someone doing something Wait. cool, and then I'll pop off. What do you mean, Dave's doing something really cool and sexy in yours right now? <laughs> oh wait, you know what? Really Maybe cool. we'll do that next week. We can. Well, I mean, if you guys want to keep the Babe Wolf theme going, I'm really enjoying this, so I don't know. Yeah, I love Babe Wolf. I look us... forward to it. Um, we'll think of something next week, but yeah, doing something along the lines of like action would be cool. Uh. Yeah, checkers would <laughs> win that one. Yeah, we need to play it to everyone's strengths. For pity, some reason, I feel like uh, this this is right in Brooks' wheelhouse. Um, Maybe. This is it, dude. When she goes offline, this is all that's running through the REM cycles. Yeah. <laughs> Greebles and uh, Greebles, really Greebles really and lightly it. spritzed dads. Yeah. Um, that's fine. Well, he's also intoxicated, right? I see the bubbles, the barn. Yeah, bubble slightly. Bubbles. Or he could just be like kind of sleepy. You never know. I maybe he's just interpretation. Maybe he's just gassy. Yeah, maybe. No, that's gross. <laughs> he's just You're even... he's just letting out his brown aura. <laughs> <laughs> his green sticky aura. It's the horrible. brown aura stream. He's, he's letting it air out. Yeah. You're you're gonna have to close off the comments for the rest of the stream. It's uh, you're that's like blood in the water to the type of people you don't know. <laughs> <No. know. laughs> yeah. You know how you know how there's like the Disney Vault where they kind of keep all of the like smut yeah. that gets drawn by artists oh, yeah, to like the, keep it in entertainment. Yeah. yeah. So a boogie boogie blue just wrote, "I love how rebellious Hannah is. Oh, if given hey. the task to make a Dave sexy, she'll make him as cringe as possible." I just want to point out, I've seen the Scum House vaults. Okay, there are incredibly sexy daves uh, that unfortunately I don't think they're ever going to see the light of day unless Hannah puts them in Chicken Scratch Three. But just trust me, when Hannah when Hannah wants to turn it on, she can. She has she has the ability. She's holding. <laughs> what back what, right what now. specifically are you referring to here? I'm oh, curious. there are so many. I did I, did I like? Are you talking about like when I drew him buff or? It's like when you or draw like... him buff, or you've drawn him like uh, there's other drawings that you've done. This isn't my usual like huh, a gaslight. Hannah did the funny thing. Like Hannah has actually drawn some pretty appealing Daves. There's a reason that people call him a self insert for her. <laughs> it's your ideal <laughs> ideal fantasy. He was my ideal man. A, a present father, and a, and a willing, and a willing and active lover. Father. <laughs> Is he active? Uh, he's active. He's active. Even the sheets, a. Eh? I'm just kidding. No, right, no, that's. I think that's ex explicitly what, oh, what Hannah was referring sorry. to. Oh, okay. Hannah, why blinded. are you painting his shirt that weird color? I'm not. He's making like a, a background. Is there no it. full tool or something? There is. It just it's it just a little sucks. finicky because it'll do that yeah, if you yeah. don't have every pixel closed. But why don't yeah, you just well. draw? I'm finally. Oh, I'm seeing all these names. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> no, no, it's really funny. Pose. What? Oh, okay. uh, Matt's one? They stole <laughs> it from Always Sunny. Always Sunny is another show that's got a surprising amount of male sex appeal. I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but I see so many thirsty posts from women about that show. Really? Yeah, Th those those guys have like it's. I think it's like the the idiot pod. I don't know how to call it. Women find strange things appealing. I'll never understand it. Fuck, Arnold, that one's fucking brilliant, Sorry. dude. Our uh, 
<laughs> as our tap water qual quality has decreased, the variance in what women find appealing has uh, increased dramatically. This oh, you think it's like a, a gay frog kind of thing? Like it's the putting... fluoride, yeah. That's Brooke, what's happening. I'm not even going that far. Oh, that's, just, that's, not even, th that's not even fair, Brooke. You're going, you're, you, your fugue state buff of right? just getting it done. Like, this is too good. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's see what Hannah it's... says. Ha ha hey, Satina, look, I made you. <laughs> Brooke is getting <laughs> shot out in the chat, by the way. Yes. That's Wait, the what? shot out. What's happening? Is that Brewski from Post Modern Oh, shit. That I I have yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah, oh, I saw the I saw the advertisement with Pogo making a guest appearance. Pogo. Yeah, he jumped yes. up on my keyboard and he tried to like. I love that to... dumpy yeah. little so and so. I can't wait to <laughs> shake him really hard and dangle him out of a New York window. Um, Dave? No, Pogo, yeah, Dave. Brooks' cat. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay, okay. I'm gonna like you know you know Napkin. What's his name? The Michael Jackson's kid. They got dangled <laughs> out a window. <laughs> Isn't his name oh. Napkin or something stupid? Not quite. A dumb name. It was like Blanket or something, right? Oh, it was Blanket, yeah. Oh. Well, I like sad. Napkin better, though. That's pretty good. <laughs> napkin style. I thought really style. I thought well, I'll name my next cat. Called up Napkin style. Can I give you Napkin style? <laughs> could I, could, yeah, could, could I get my child Napkin style? Just for those for those who don't know, oh, uh, I, I was we were approaching... Uh, what is it? What is the place called again? In and out, In and Out Burger, and into uh, out, into out burger, uh, in the out, yeah. other of the heart. Um, mm -hmm. but we were approaching it, and Lars he leaned into me and he said, "Shaggy, by the way, this place is famous for having like a secret menu. Um, so you must order, you must order your burger, uh, animal style, and you must order your fries animal style." And I was like, "Oh, okay, we'll do." And I was, and then I was like, "Are, are there any other like secret menu items?" And he was like, oh, yeah, you can order, like, but he was like, yeah, but they're a bit crazy. Like, it's like the novelty of ordering at this place. And I was like, oh, what are the other ones? And he goes, oh, well, you can get it balled up. And that's where they'll take your burger and they'll just ball it up in their hands for you. They'll, like, squeeze it into a sphere. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's strange. And he was like, oh, yeah, there's, like, napkin style where they'll just put a napkin in your burger. And I was like, okay. Um, and, then, and then when I was like, and then wasn't there another one? He's like, oh yeah, you can get it wet, where they'll dunk it in soda for you. Wet. There's yeah, just like, water. Oh, it's they'll, like, they'll dunk it in water. water. They'll just like <laughs> so you can order it like balled up napkin style, and, and make sure and make it extra wet. Um, because he had been telling me about this French dip sandwich place that he went to, where they like dunk your sandwich in gravy. So I was like, oh, oh yeah. so they'll dunk a burger. I was like, no, you know, Nevada's weird, you know. So up until I was ready to order, I was gonna order it like balled up just to see if it'd do it. And he just came out. He was like, Sh "Shaggy, don't, 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 don't order it balled up, dude." Okay, I was, I was messing with you. Which goes to show that just the we, we were raised very differently because I would have held on if I had managed to get someone at the at the finish line of. By the way, you can tell like you can ask them to put a napkin in your burger and they'll do it. I would not. I would have pulled the trigger. I would have been like, "Let's see yeah. this idiot actually does it." So you're a better no, person I than I am. Me. I wanted. I kind of yeah. wanted to know what the woman behind the counter would have said if she would have just looked at me like I was an alien. Going, oh, sorry, you want me to do what? <laughs> Even crazy. Do it. Yeah, she actually does it. She's like, oh, I know what this is. Yeah, just, <laughs> just smash it up right on the counter. Just oh, smash it. Slam it in the. Slam it in the cash register a few he times. He told me I could get. Hit. Hold on. He told me I could get my fries roadkill style. And <laughs> roadkill style. <laughs> And, and that's that's no, half true. No, you did tell me that this is a thing you could do. Uh, you, whether or not it was there or somewhere yeah. else, but they'll take the burger patty yeah. and like tear it up over your fries, and then cover it in cheese. Yeah, you're misremembering. There's like oh, uh, there's like health code violation reasons or something that they can't put the meat on top of the fries, but you can order the patty separate and then put it on top of the. Things, which is what I do. It's very good, but uh, oh I yeah, in a, just, in a just world, they would do it for you. Because I know people always ask them to do the burgers monkey style, which is when you put the fries inside the burger, but they won't do it. So uh, if you ask for it balled up, she'd probably just sigh and like you have to take a depression bath or something. Yeah, we had a lot of fun at the the In and Out. You had your encounter with the the man who was passing a kidney stone. Um, oh, no. In the bathroom. I don't, I don't remember that. Oh yeah. wait, 
you were dropping the kids off and the, the guy, some guy burst in at the urinal, threw his head back and moaned while he was peeing and he went, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can't even recite yeah. it. He it, went, frick yeah. Oh. Wait, is this, no, this is a different one from the encounter you had. Oh my the... God. Oh yeah, the casino, at the, yeah. The casino. So, so we... hold on, wait. I can shout out exactly what casino it is. Run the. Oh, I was about to say. It. So, so. Oh, you remember? Okay. So, um, while I was playing Baldur's Gate, I was blown away by how like narratively focused the game was and how like all your decisions mattered. And Lars was like, "Well, if you like that game, you should try Fallout New Vegas because that's a game quite similar to that." And then for quite a long time after that, he was just like, "Shaggy, please play Fallout New Vegas. You'd really enjoy it." And for whatever reason, I just kept putting it off. Not like I ever need an excuse to play video games, but I kept putting it off because uh, I played it before in the past and just I had a fiddle with like mouse acceleration. And I just got annoyed. But eventually I sat down and played it. And then um, he was like, so how did you like it after I played about an hour? And I was like, ah, it's OK. Maybe not my thing. Then 90 hours passed and I played all the content in DLC and it's now one of my favorite games. But <laughs> uh, on our Nevada trip, Lars made it a point to try and take me to as many real world locations from the game. So when we were driving oh. past Prim which is a place in the game wet get, that gets taken over by prisoners and it's famous for having a roller coaster that goes through the hotel um we stopped and not only and everyone else got went out to sightsee and i went out to have greasy diarrhea um no. because we had been driving for like 10 hours and i ate a, a, a suspect spicy chicken sandwich from a gas station terrible idea so i didn't get to explore the wonders of prim but i did get to experience the bathroom of a of a, of a shitty casino for about well, hold on. not not any shitty casino although we both just said bad words it was buffalo bills monorail station also known as buffalo bills resort and casino in prim nevada it was the one with the big roller coaster around it right yeah 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 and anyway so i went into this bathroom to do to do god's honest work and while i was trapped in there uh, whoa. I, I, wait, what's up? Why are you going, whoa? whoa? Hello? Whoa? Hello? Lars went, whoa, and then went quiet. Hey, Sorry, yo. I, uh, <laughs> I was swatting at a, at a fly. <laughs> <laughs> I was swatting at a fly, and I ripped my head. It's like this out. real moment of fear that overcame, of like, oh, oh, did something happen? <laughs> or something said, and it was a fly. <laughs> It was a fly, and I swung at it and ripped my headphones out, which then sent the audio automatically routing out of my speaker, which is directly next to my mic. So did you hear Shaggy, like, feeding back into the mic for a second? Yeah, oh. I, was, I was very confused as to what the hell was going on there. But anyway, sorry, so I have, I have rushed life or death to the bathroom, and this is, this is, bef this is like 2, 2 p.m. on just like a random weekday in a casino. And in the Buffalo entire Bills. in Buffalo Bills, which is like an hour out of Vegas, so and it's at a at a, a cheesy like uh, theme casino. So you can imagine the type of pe the people who are there at two p.m. are just hardcore gambling addicts. Okay, <laughs> so I'm in the bathroom, surrounded, beset on all sides by stalls filled with gambling addicts, all like moaning and grunting, and and like clenching at the doors and stuff like that. It was it was awful. And as I was in there trying, and I'm a nervous, I'm a shy poor put it lightly okay like mm -hmm. i struggle you know like i need to i need to find my center i need to be zen this was not zen okay uh it, it, i'm sitting there and this suddenly like there's like plops from all around and grunting suddenly i hear feet stamping the ground they're beating the ground and a guy runs up and i just hear him like smacking on stalls like going oh is anyone there and he comes to my store and he's like rattling it like nearly pulling it off its hinges and he's going like oh oh uh, uh, and he gets to the stall behind like the stall next to me and like i i feel like frantic like the pants are coming off the fucking he's like <laughs> kicking his fucking pants off the the oh stalls the gap between the stalls are really high up as well so i could like see like nearly up to his knees like it was it was just it was hellish and he's like kicking he's like sitting on her like kicking his pants like, kicking his shoes off they're like fucking rolling around and then he, <laughs> and then he just unleashes he 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 fucking drops the fat boy and there is moaning and there was like moaning and wailing and gnashing of teeth. And it sounds like someone's pouring a bucket of pennies into the porcelain. And oh he's moaning God. he's moaning and throwing his head back and doing and then like once the dust is settled, I hear like like gambling casino noises coming out of a phone speaker, like like slot machine noises, and I realize that this guy 
was sitting, and I put the pieces together. This guy was sitting at a slot machine, holding it in as hard as he could, because these machines have a thing where you like build up higher percentages to win the longer you play. So the longer you're there, oh. supposedly the more... So it's like to feed into the addict behavior of don't leave the machine. So he's literally holding this in until he's about to shit himself. And then he's so addicted to gambling that once he's on the throne, once the dust is settled, he pulls out his phone and starts gambling on his cell phone. Now that the dust is settled, who is right? But what I'm saying is that, like, don't gamble. Don't ever put anything in those machines because that's what you become. Touching cloth in a in a in a novelty casino. <laughs> that that does yeah. sound truly hellish. But I, I have a I have a bathroom story from oh. that same trip, but oh, it's Gail, it's not as long. It was literally we went to the um L A, uh, Lars. What was it called? The train station. Oh, Union Station. Yeah, the Union Station um bathrooms, and I went in, and it was not not a pretty sight. But I'm like, okay. Let's let's go, but I I close the door and outside I just hear a guy banging each bathroom stall, going like West Side, West Side, and then I just hear I hear guys start to like fight in there, and I'm like, you know what? I think uh, I think I can hold it in for a little longer. I I don't think this is the well, time for forgot, me. To... You forgot my favorite part of that story. All these gangbangers had brought their bicycles into the bathroom with them. <laughs> oh yeah. my goodness. Yeah. Like every single one of them had a bicycle. There was like four or five bicycles in this <laughs> tiny bathroom. They were doing wheelies in the toilet. Yeah, they were <laughs> doing flatland, doing X ups and stuff. Doing their tech tech, <laughs> doing their wheelies, doing their ollies. <laughs> that was the same Ollie bathroom. Ollies swirlies, dude. <laughs> that on a separate trip, I saw a guy wrapping and eating tuna fish off of a baby changing station. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> He, he had, like, one of those little mobile, like, uh, like a Capri Sun pack of tuna and mayonnaise that comes with the little miniature stuff. Oh, those are, was those are nasty. It. Yeah, he was eating that the like, and then moving his other hand in the air, like, motioning to the <laughs> rhythm, emitting from his phone speaker. And, uh, yeah, it was brutal. The, the uh, Union Station bathrooms... It's like a Minecraft. Like during the day cycle, it's not so bad, but during the night cycle, it gets crazy. <laughs> during the night cycle, the creepers come out. That's when the mobs come out. <laughs> yeah, they're docile during the day, but at nighttime, it's I still uh, remember whole fall. We were walking through. We were trying to find Chinatown at night in LA, and your fr the, your friend that was with us handed me her weed pen, and was like, "You want a hit?" And I went, uh, "Okay." And I hadn't smoked. I hadn't smoked weed in years, and I took a way bigger hit than I was supposed to, and I got. Instant I instantaneously became not okay in the situation we were in. <laughs> and we were like exploring and it was just a point where we were like on our way to Chinatown. That's what it's called, right? You you call it that? Yeah, yeah. It's oh, Chinatown. Gee. That's cool. I had a moment where I was like, shit, is, she, is that what it's called? Um but yeah, we we're Percy. on our way there. I mean shit I got beat. But uh we were on our way there and I uh I remember there was just a moment where we stopped and I went, Why are we stopping? And you just pointed ahead. And there was just, like, two crazy people on either side of the street, like, screaming and moaning and <laughs> flopping about. And you were just like, yeah, no, we're going to go home now. <laughs> and I remember going, <laughs> just... like, um, oh, and I remember God. being Christ. freaked out by that and being like, oh, God, yeah, there's, like, people screaming and stuff like that. Let's go home. And then when we finally got home, I was like, yeah, that was scary. And everyone else was like, what do you mean? And I was like, didn't you see those guys? And no one else noticed the crazy people. And I actually felt gaslit. I was like, did I actually wait, see Wait, that? wait, wait. I, I saw them. Did I not back you up? No, it's when I talked to the other guys because I was like, oh, yeah, we, we turned back because of the crazy people. And they're like, what crazy people? And I was like, wait, what do you mean? Didn't you see them? We came so close to those people screaming and wailing about. And they just did not yeah, pay just, attention. They were too busy. And I'm watching, about, the, uh, I'm watching the playback on the thing. Why did you delete the Greeble, dude? It was such a nice little a, touch. He's transient. Transient? No. <laughs> no, he Thank can't you. die. I hope him back. And back maybe and not in this life, but maybe the next. Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> so, uh, creepers, I think we you. have, uh, we have four very beautifully depicted Daves. Uh, and we're reaching the two hour mark. I think we should let chat vote on their, uh, 
Do you want to make a straw poll for oh, it? Oh, yeah. Ch ch teach me how to do that. How do we make a straw poll? <laughs> oh, yeah. Only, only uh, agreeables that belong to the plock subcategory. Yeah, I'll, I'll just make one oh. real quick. All right, create a we poll. Glips. Dave off 2024. Even more, I says, I was promised sexy Dave's. This is not it. <laughs> Really? Well, you know what, you Dave, either. Steven, Steven Moore, you know what, I can I can sympathize, okay? Because sometimes, like, you know, life gets you down, and sometimes, you know, if you want something done right, you got to do it yourself, which is why I highly suggest that you use our promo link in the description to buy yourself a copy <laughs> of the Studio go. Paint ES <laughs> and draw us your depiction of a sexy Dave. And you know what, if you do that, Steven Moore, if you do that, I will, I will, honest to God, I will retweet your, your shiz. On the Scumhouse Twitter, I will promote it, and I will put it on next week's episode of Battle of the Babes for people to vote. Okay, if you want, but like that, that's what you got to do. Like, if you want something done right, do it yourself. Promo link in the description. Get yourself some Clip Studio Paint. Help out the show. We really appreciate it. Anyway, carry and on, be guys. sure to click our affiliate link below to purchase Paw Patrol Season Nine only off Amazon Prime. We get a ten percent. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I mean, if that too. works. If you donate enough money, Hannibal will we'll release Sexy yeah. Dave from the vault. No, no, my Daves are for me. Right? <laughs> Stephen Moore says, "Oh my God, I promise I'll do that for real." If you straight up, if you do, our, fuck, our DMs on Scumhouse are open. If you actually do that, that'll be awesome. Draw your own Sexy Dave oh, with Clip so Studio so Paint that you buy okay. using our affiliate link, and I will one hundred percent retweet shout you out next time, dude. I'll even put it in the credits of our next video right at the end as a, as a secret uh, thing. Straight up. Arnold, that, you that's for? our fan engagement, dude. Uh, Arnold is, Arnold's saying he's for? This is going to be confusing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay, but I, I saw apologize. Like... I miscounted. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, there's a, there's a link to it. Yeah, so. Well, wait. Give me the link. I'll that. post it in the chat. Hannah, you got to you gotta draw four no. so people can vote it in. They oh, won't know. And checkers, right. you two like both drew the number two like in perfect unison when you guys did it. It was, I oh, thought, yeah. It was, it, yeah, you like did it like in in tandem. I thought you were okay. Like, chat, the same line. get ready. I'm gonna be edible. posting the link to the straw poll in the in the in the chat. Here we go. Man, Brooke is in the lead. He's, um. Brooke's, um, buying votes. I had... Botting boat votes. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That last donation was for me, actually. <laughs> She's getting uh, Emma Watson and her tech inclined pal to rig the numbers. <laughs> oh, dude, Matt, you should have put the like one check is to Brooke. Oh well. Yeah, it's next fine. time. Oh wait, I can edit it. No, I won't. Oh goodness, okay. three is winning. No. Three. Is Three is, is a fantastic image. My God, is Arnold going to go back to back? Oh my God, is Arnold going to be the back to back babe champion? Oh my goodness. No, <laughs> no, 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 stop. No, yes, no, yes. no, you got to vote for someone else. Come on. No. Like, mine, mine is like a stupid, dumb. No, don't say that. Keep the streak going. Keep the streak going. Image. It's, it's wonderful and beautiful. I like Are we so allowing mail in ballots? What's the cutoff? <laughs> Uh, you know, just, uh, oh, hey, Adam's in the chat, bro. Oh, hey, Adam. Yo, Wait, yo. Adam, What's Adam. What's real? I don't different know. Adam. Not, I not, to... not music, Adam. No, 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 uh, I know the other Adam. For the people Wait. voting in the chat, go to the straw poll and vote there. Yeah, go to the straw poll. Yeah, go yeah, to yeah. the straw poll. Guys, go to the straw poll times. link. Hold on, I'm going to spam the link more. Hold on. Media comprehension, guys. Click the link. Come on. No posting. Oh, thank you, Adam. <laughs> God bless you. Brooke and... Yes! That's so awesome. Sorry, I, like, just opened up the YouTube. I'm seeing all the chat now. I was not looking at any of it before. Oh, my goodness. Arnold. Back-to-back <laughs> -back babe champion, dude. <laughs> dude. <laughs> so over, dude. Dude, this 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 is how Paul felt. Nah, come on. After he drank the water, 
There's 17 <laughs> votes and there's like 60 people in the chat. Come on, people. Let's get those numbers up. It looks like you, just... you said you said this is how Paul is talking about Paul the alien. Three is something else. I love that. This is how Paul Atreides felt when he had to commit galactic jihad. He was like, "No, this guys." How Paul the alien felt whenever he had to save his two unlikely best friends sure. who he met oh. on Earth. I want to watch the movie. I've never seen it before, and, and you guys are the only people I've. Oh ever yeah, watched. we watched it without you. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> we made Sam watch it. Oh. Wait, what did you watch? Paul. Wait, you watched Paul? But we watched that yes. together, remember? Yes, I know. That's Arnold, what I'm didn't saying. You watch it with We're us? saying the same thing. But you watched Paul. You watched Paul with us. I've never seen Paul. No, Arnold wasn't there. Oh, Why was it? You keep imagining scenarios where Arnold does, doesn't exist, but you like imagine. Arnold him wasn't there. there? No, he was in Puerto Rico. Bro, we're gonna watch there? Paul tonight, Whoa. dude. That movie rules. I'm down. I'm down. I love Paul. You inflicted a mind virus on my roommate. He's like obsessed with Paul the alien. But Paul's a funny movie, Hannah. We all laughed no. and enjoyed watching Paul. I I've never Paul. seen Paul. If you Paul want to. As, as Paul. Maybe. <laughs> I remember seeing the for alien, it. Right? Yeah. yeah. He's the weed smoking alien. Oh, I, for, awesome. for, for like a half second there, I thought you guys were just saying that to be like as a funny way to call Dunk Part 2. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Atreides is the. Would Paul be we better if, watching if, it was, if it was Paul Atreides oh, instead of Paul no. Rogan? Wait, wait, wait Matt, have, have you seen Dunk Part Two yet? You said you watched Part Not One. Yeah, I watched Part One though. Part Two is uh, oh, it's good. It's good. <laughs> part Two is okay. Well, the the chat, the active chat has spoken. Um, I I feel. Arnold. Unfortunately. Uh, what is wrong with you people? No, Arnold, you reign supreme. No, You're, no, this is yes. not. This is not. How it Arnold, be. accept you got, it. It's got, too late. Accept it. Arnold, you got two thirds of the vote. Dog. You, you know you, what I you, think happened? You were the super is, majority. He put, he put uh, Lucy and Azalea in there, and I think I think that won oh. people over. Dog. Yeah. Need it. Oh. Can I get our, our audience of eighteen to twenty-four year old men? Sorry, Laws. What did you want? Can I get some mod powers, Plicks? I gave you mod powers, dog. Powers. Did you? Hold you should on. have mod powers. Hold on. If you if you type in the chat, I, and I'll... I, just, uh... I, I don't see, like, the wrench or anything. Oh, I, isn't I, think, that I, how think you... You, I think you have to do it per stream, unfortunately. Hold on. No way. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, what? Uh, other... Hold on. I gotta... You're lying, Matt. <laughs> You're lying. I gotta, I, gotta, no I gotta push it. It's got that stupid... Freaking react button is over the the little green. What? Uh, hold Why on, I don't know. F? I said stupid freaking. No, in the chat it, it says S H. Oh, for everybody who just got by Arnold. There's three little there's three little dots. <laughs> there's three little dots, right? That you got to click next to someone's name to make them a mod. Um, but it's got that stupid heart emote in front of it, if that makes sense. So I wasn't able. Oh to, yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> so I wasn't able to click it. So I had to uh, type to push it up so that I could, uh, uh, just give me one second, Laws, I'll see if I Are can... Are you sure it's you... not permanent? Because, yeah, I mean, that seems like a bad design. If it's Ed not... is ma managing... <laughs> Sorry, this brought the stream to a screeching halt. I, I thought this would be an easy thing. There we go, you're okay. a There we go, fixed. Let's we go. Got the... Let's we got see. the result we needed. Uh, oh, yeah, look at that, all right. Vanity icon. Yep, That's complete vanity. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. I want to just thank everyone again for stopping by. You guys are absolute champions of content. Um, yes, thank you. Made, you. you made the arduous effort of streaming a lot easier for us. Uh, so thanks, Brooke and Checkers. Please, uh, I'll... Oh, of course. They have social media out there. It's up to you to find it. If they want to plug oh, it's it, not. <laughs> I'll post it. I can post it in the chat. Oh, cool! Post it in the chat. Um, the link master, Lars. Once again, once again, we were we're new to sh uh, shilling sponsor stuff, so I hope it doesn't come off as too abrasive. But uh, you can help out the channel if you're in any way interested in art and animation, and you want to get a foot in the door on it. We highly recommend Clip Studio Paint. It's what we use to make Satina. Give it a go. Uh, there's a 30-day free trial, so you don't even have to put any money down to try it. 
Um, and one of the my favorite things about it is that you can buy a perpetual license. None of this subscription nonsense. There is a subscription if you don't want to lay down some large on something, but I think even just buying it flat out is like 200 bucks, and then it's yours forever. Okay. And if you so click the link in the description and get yourself, and it's on sale at the moment. So if you do it right now, it's 60 percent off. So you can get it for even cheaper. Um, they just released their 3.0 version, which has some like incredible features that puts it on par or even further ahead than other animation software on the market. So anyway, yeah, give it a go. It really helps out the channel. And uh, yeah, get to that sounds like some such cool a good art. deal. Such a good I'm deal. I'm gonna do it. Bam, bam, bam. Well, I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm actually, gonna do it too. I'm gonna do it too. I'm actually gonna do it. I, I didn't know they had the permanent license still. I thought they got rid of that. Oh, okay. Well, when you guys get it, use our promo code, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we get a kickback on every uh, on every uh, thing sold on their behalf. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. So that's Brooks' Twitter in the in I'm the chat to, right now. Exactly. I'm trying to think I know it. Well, thank you. Where is it? Checkers, how do I find you, dude? Uh, I'm a mystery. I'm it's, an enigma. Isn't it <laughs> you don't. He's, 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 or something like that. he's everywhere where, and nowhere. Where does you is be? <laughs> Damn, okay. Oh, whoops. I oh, I found again. it. I found it. All right. Let's go. It's like chicks oh, chess or some nonsense. There we go. Locked in. <laughs> Awesome. Brooke posts oh, really cute art, and Checkers posts awesome like one-hour animation challenges and post sheets every day. The dude is an absolute, uh, absolute whiz on the figure drawing. Uh, yeah, I give these guys some love. And he storyboard, he storyboarded like half of the next ep big episode of Satina. It was like ten minutes of storyboarding that he did. Uh, so check out his stuff. But anyway, we'll be seeing you next week for episode three of Battle of the Babes. Bye bye, everyone.